me pongo? ¿Para qué me invita? ¿Para qué me invita? What's up, you scumbags? Welcome back to another episode of Scum and Kick It, the podcast your mom warned you about. It's me, Scumbags, with my homie XG. What's up, what's up, what's up? How we doing? We doing good over here, but you know what time it is, boys. Get a beer, pop it open. Why did you say pop it open and not pop a fucking beer open, dog? Oh, shit. God damn, pop it open. Uh, Sorry, guys, I was was already (laughs) drinking. (laughs) My bad, I was drinking already. (laughs) Pop it open. Tell your girl to get out the room, homie. Kick her out right now. Hey, mija, out the room. Now spark up that J. Don't make me a sandwich. Damn. <laughs> just, kick, just kick her out the room. All right, just kick that, her out. That's it. Don't Send make her. Send her to the movies. Do something. She'll be like, damn, I got to cook and everything? <laughs> She'll probably burn the toast anyway, so don't even make her do that shit. <laughs> but spark up a J. And uh, we're going to talk about some crazy shit this week since last week. We're too hungover to make an episode. So this time we're going to bring you some good shit. By the way, uh, don't forget, here's a word from our sponsors. I was trying to change my ways not to hurt you My brother just caught another case after a full two I told him don't trip, I hold it down like I'm supposed to We're here for playing soccer, they hit me like skipping class You ever had a vix, let us come cancel your plans We move four times in one year, you do the man I've been through hell and back, I don't complain, I've been the man They know I ain't the same, that my shit I ain't the same I stay quiet, fuck the fame, people trying to ruin my name I go through shit, you can't relate, fuck the rats and all the snakes Don't even tell me shit if you ain't never lived this way all right, we're back from commercial breaks. Yo, what you got planned for this weekend, XG? Dog, it's a big weekend, homie. Yeah, it's, cra- it's going to be a good one. We'll have a lot of plans. Well, I, I want to watch the fights. I got a, not a concert to go to tomorrow, but... Wait up, wait up, wait up. You're going to Coachella? He's no. a concert, dog. That's the only concert no, popping no, off right now, dog. No, ne- uh, next weekend I'm down. Are you going weekend two? Yeah, I'm down with weekend two. Uh, I like to see what's going on first. Like, my brother goes, so I'm like, let me peep the party. If it's popping, I'll go with them next week, you know? But not this one. I have shit to do tomorrow. I gotta what go concert? Th- Coyote. Coyote for Hire. Uh, they're oh. releasing a music video. Yeah, they're your homies. They're your mad homies, right? Like, yeah, like yeah. You're the guys that um, they've been on We Don't Smoke the Same, but they just made a music video with, what's his name? Shaq? El, el with Sha- yeah, with Shaq and with... Uh, Mario Lopez, so tomorrow they're premiering the video with Mario Lopez in it at the Chinese Theater. So yeah, I got tickets up. to that, yeah. Nice. So I got tickets to that. So that's like a two. So I'm going to check that out. Let's see if meet up Mario Lopez. They'll probably put me on Saved by the Bell Part 2, no? <laughs> Easy, right. dog. What do you want? Well, should I be Zach or Screech? Screech. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you Honestly? Want, I, I, wait, wait, wait. You want me to be honest with you? I wanted to test his haterness, and now I'm like, oh, You want me to be honest Screech. with you? You want me to be honest with you? I don't what? even know who either of them are. I'm young, fuck. I don't no. know what Saved ah, by the Bell is. I swear, ah, I just wanted know. to say one because I guessed. Screech ain't cool. You don't cool? know what Saved by the Screech, Bell is? Screech ain't cool? Screech, Screech sounds cool. Screech literally, like, when you said Screech, I was like, oh, I wanted him to be the cool homie. Like, when you were young, you might want to be Screech, but now that you get older, like, you don't want to be Screech. No? Nah. What's well, the vibe? I really, I've never watched Saved by the Bell. No, Dude, you never I, watched like, it? I swear. I've, I know of it because, I mean, who hasn't heard of the, the show Saved by the Bell, but I never watched it. To me, I watched, like, um, Boy Meets World. It's about, no, not the same era. The Boy Meets World was after, yeah. Yeah, see, that to me, to me, that still was boring. I remember watching this, and I was like, where are the cartoons? Boy Meets World was dope. Well, like, Topanga was hot. Well, yeah, she had a fatty. She had cakes, huh? Yeah. Her, she, was yeah. Th- she was thick, like, BBL thick back then. I don't know if I'd call that thick, bro. She was thick. She wasn't skinny. This is middle school. She was like 22. Like at the time, I remember. She I don't, was 22 I'm playing just saying, at the time, I don't remember like holding my Pokemon card and be like, man, Topanga's dick. Pokemon, <laughs> p- Pokemon cards. I was holding my dick while this was holding Pokemon cards. What the <laughs> fuck kind of world is this fool living in? I was young, dog. Like Pokemon? at that time, what, t- when Boy Beats World was out, I was for sure like in middle school. Like I found her cute, but I didn't know what to do with her. No, you're probably Like if they old. let me have her, I really wouldn't want to be like, well, what do I do with the well, Topanga? You were probably going to play her Pokemon. You were like, uh, they wouldn't have superpowers. And it's funny because I should have known what to do. It's in the name. Top. Top Panga. Give me Top. Top Panga. Top, and I, I'll be Top <laughs> Panga. Panga. <laughs> Nah, that show was cool. I used to like uh, Boy Meets World. Say by the Bell was, I was younger, but that one was dope. But that's like more of your school. Like, your school is for the white people, no? Your high school, or? No, Paisas, dog. Oh, you had ESO classes, so. Yeah, a bunch of ESO classes, yeah? dog. Yeah, we had, uh, I'm not even lying, I swear to God, no bullshit. Lake Elsinore, uh, what year was it? If I graduated 11, year 2007, 
We had the most pregnant chicks in all of California. Fuck. Like, were high. Straight up, dog. Lakeside. Why? They were fucking over there a lot? Fucking no condoms. Damn, that's what's Bro, crazy. Bro, we had the most pregnant chicks in all of Southern California. Like, the for the high school, we were known to have the most pregnant chicks. Dude, our like, continuation school was full. Even their kids already were going to school at that point. Like, yeah, bro. The they, mom and kid at the same. We grade? had, we had a, we had a, um, uh, what is it when you take care of the kids? A child, a daycare at our school. Fuck. At the library, like over there on the side. Damn, don't ever. I don't want to go to like Elsinore. I'm not sending bro, my kids there. Nothing. All the bitches are fertile out there. <laughs> <laughs> over here, not over here. Over here, there were probably like, two pregnant chicks at school. Really? Yeah, like two, three. Like you'll see them, and that's it. Like, not like ten at bro, one time. I don't know. I, and this might be all hype or all cap, but this was like during the Teen Mom era, so oh, it was cool oh, okay, to be yeah. a pregnant bitch. You know, oh, look at me, I'm look, done. Look, look <laughs> uh, my life is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But at least they got it out of the way. They got a kid. Uh, that fool's already probably at this time. What? They're like twenty. The girls your age. Oh, the, their yeah, kid are like yeah, 20 yeah, now. yeah. Probably if this girl had it, if this girl had her kid at fourteen, yeah, that kid's like almost in high school, about to graduate. <sighs> Damn, you could have a little junior right now, already ready to go drink Super with you. Super junior, yeah, driving me to the Tacahuila. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a DD, huh? <laughs> Damn, we should have had kids back then. Well, you know he'd have a good coke connect, too. <laughs> they just go through his pockets and just jack off his stashes. Well, you know me and him would be going to EDC together this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, dude, it's your first year, you ready? Damn. 14 years ago is where you came from at EDC. <laughs> Take your shirt off, mijo. Take your shirt off. Me too. Oh, I'm ready, dog, for EDC. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gonna start doing push-ups this whole week? Oh, been doing them for like the past two months. When is DDC in a month? A month from now, May 17th, 16th, and 18th, something like that. In Vegas? Vegas. Oh no, I was looking up for rooms that month for my birthday, and I was like, why is it so expensive on the 17th? Oh, no wonder a, it was like triple the price. Yeah, I got an RV. Yeah? Yeah. You wanna see yeah. the RV? Let's see this shit. It's Ooh. gonna be like Breaking Bad. <laughs> what you gotta say like that? Yeah, it's gonna be you and some meth heads in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's only Three people. Damn, they're for sure pulling you over. <laughs> Fuck. And some bite size. bad. Girl. You're going to have that hat on driving that? Bro, that ain't too bad. They're going to search the shit out of that car, dog. Once you land, like, this was for sure to plug. At least a gram. A gram in each pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm RVing this year, dog. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be wearing scumbag attire. All so, that EDC. Before we get to EDC, we got to talk about Coachella. You going to be at Coachella? Like you said, if I do go, it's got to be next week. It's all cloudy and foggy this year. I was so happy when I woke up and I saw it like that. I was like, man, fuck those fools that are there. You think it's going to get muddy over there? No. I hope so. I hope it rains. I hope it pours. That should be hot over there. I hope there's there. an earthquake. I hope the ice pulls up and deports all the illegals. We're going to take you too. Then we're gonna miss I'm not there. I, I, I hope they hit me up. We're like, going to miss another episode. Bro, how great would it be if someone hits me and be like, bro, I'm at Coachella and ice pulled up and they deported all the illegals. I'd be like, man, I'm so glad I didn't go that year. <laughs> 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 they were looking for a trailer an rv <laughs> bro 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 you're the one who told me this that there or was it you or was it uh that mentioned that there's a sign on the way to coachella said std checks or no uh, I, I was chilly i was chilly yeah they're warning people already of raw well you were well, you, going raw no? you didn't hear that uh, i have done coachella Damn. raw before but uh you didn't hear <laughs> <laughs> now we know why the billboard up, guys. <laughs> it says xg <laughs> no no but you didn't hear uh like Three or like no, like five years ago, there was like a huge like herpes outbreak at Coachella. Oh, I heard about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Damn. So if I don't go to Coachella, dog, because come on, dog, you know a couple of your chicks out there. Nah, I do be seeing all the bitches out there. That's why I get pumped up the first week. Oh, I gotta go next week for sure because I'm looking at like damn hella bitches. But then once I go over there, I don't see all those bitches. So it's like, they, what do you mean you don't see them? Because I don't go to the festival. I go to the parties. I don't, oh. go, I don't go to the actual festival. I should like three hundred bucks, no four. Yeah, easy, Five? but that's where all the pussies at. You just said it. It's worth it. But you can't even fuck right there. I mean, you can. Well, I wouldn't you, recommend well, it. Well, you can. <laughs> You're on my nyaks right there. No, but it's fun. You, should, you should literally got to go in the festival. It's probably, the, I don't know. I've only gone there once and I snuck in. You're going to say, oh, you snuck in again? Yes. The only time I've been to Coachella, I snuck in. And then after that, you I drove all got... the way. See, that's crazy to me to drive out there with the illusions that I'm going to get in. I go over there with like, in. hey. Get me in, VIP, front row. I know the DJ. I actually brought the equipment. Nah, that's how you got in? <laughs> huh? That's how you got in? That's how you saying I get in like that? No, that's how I like to show up. Oh, I no. I like to show up like... We showed up 15 deep and we all got in. That's scary. Nah, well, that was the first Coachella ever, so it wasn't that hard to... Well, we jumped over the... The homie jumped over the fence and I went through the front. 
because some white dude was coming out. I was like, hey, let me get your wristband, yeah? And that's it. That's all it took. Got a free wristband, went in, saw Radiohead. Yeah. Depressing as fuck. Yeah. No, but the, and the other reason I'm not going to go this weekend, if I was to even go, was uh, I'm kind of excited for the UFC fights. UFC oh, yeah, 300, the, dog. It's the number 300. Yeah, yeah. They got Dana White stacking it up. You told me that the um, Fire the Knights, like 300,000. Yeah, the Fire Knights, he raised it up from 50,000 to 300,000 this time. So, well, And for how Jew he is, that's a big up. <laughs> he's Jew? <laughs> no, but he's stingy as fuck. Well, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? He's all, he, don't pay his, he don't pay his fighters. He, he never does that bonus. So I was like, damn, finally. He, like, all the fighters started standing up. They even got a standing ovation. Like, Dana, Dana. <laughs> he got all pumped up. He was probably going to do it more well, often Well, that's now. 7X. That's almost 7X times more. If he's paying 50. Nah, don't confuse me with that 7X. I'm I like, forget. I forgot we went over. You didn't My graduate brain was over school. there doing math on a chalkboard. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this for talking about? 7X? Like, 7X Gs? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, 50 times 7. If the, no, that's 35. 350. 350. You said it was about 300,000. 300,000. Yeah, that's about that. Yeah, 6. 6X, seven six, six, 7. That, six, yeah, seven. confusing me. I was making the right math in my head. <laughs> Fucking so- Lake Elsinore College. <laughs> what is Lake, Lake Elsinore High? Lake Side High, dog, but I did go to, um, you know me, dog. I went to Saddleback College. For what? South Orange County. <laughs> <Where> the <laughs> white bitches are at, dog. <laughs> just I, just I, to pick I, up on bitches, I'll drive an extra hour, dog, just to pick up on white chicks. Uh, uh, I have, still don't have papers, dog. How does that make <laughs> sense? <laughs> How do you go to college with no papers? Community college. It's for, it's, oh, come on. You got, so you, you had no paper, and you probably just had one paper and a plastic. Do you know the plastic things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put one paper and a pen. That's how you went to school? Oh, why you got to remind me? <laughs> First day of class, can I borrow a piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> that was you? Yeah, bro. Can I borrow a pen? First day of school, like, well, no one needs to preparado or what? All I care about looking fresh. The day before, you know you set up your outfit. I know it's like ha- hacky shit, but who, everyone sets up their outfit the day before. Yeah, not in high school. I didn't give a fuck about that shit. For all the skaters, I didn't give a fuck. I had a yeah, backpack. I, you know me, I cared. You're trying to get some bitches pregnant. Oh, <laughs> dog, one time I remember my, I told my mom the night before, Mom, I'm running out of gel. Buy me some mo- moco de gorilla gel because I used to spike up my hair. I was like, buy me moco de gorilla gel. And she went to the mall, did her grocery shopping like a fucking female should, like my dad sent her to do. She forgets the gel. The Damn. next day, I got to go to school, right? And I get, to my, I get to the bathroom, no gel. And there's not enough to do my hair. So I told my mom, you didn't get gel. And she's like, no, I forgot. I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to school. <laughs> my mom's like, you're going to school. Nah. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, how am I going to look like lame to all these fucking bitches that want my dick? Like, I'm not going <laughs> to go to school with this lame. She's like, put on a hat. At the time, I didn't wear a hat. So I was like, no. Bro, you ever see Polly Shore wear a hat? Polly Shore? She didn't know who that was. She's like, what are you and talking then you're about? That, <laughs> and then you're saying that I'm old. If you know who Polly Shore is, <laughs> what, this was all Encino Man or what? Fucking GTL, dog. Man. So, so then my mom. Oh, Polly D, not Polly Shore. Oh, my bad. Polly D. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> this was going to pull up in a Jeep. Look, he said my. Polly, so, Polly D, dog. You know how Polly D always had his hair spikes? I was, I was, I was picturing you looking all suspicious. Yeah, like, damn, my bad. Polly my D. dyslexia kicked in. And I just saw Polly Shore, so maybe that's why he kicked in. But anyways, though. I'm there, and I tell my mom, I'm <laughs> not going to school. I'm not going to school, mom. Like, I got a couple bitches lined up. I'm not going to school. My mom calls my dad. Oh, uh, for sure the cinto came out. Oh, my, my, my mom's like, Tu hijo no quiere la escuela que porque su pelo y que se me olvidó el gel y que no tiene moco. My dad's like, did he tell you to get Joe? She's like, yeah. She's like, then he's not going to school. <laughs> no, yeah? My dad knew what it meant to look fresh, to feel good, dog. My dad was like, Either go get him jail or the homie ain't going to go to school. Mira. Next day, there was a fucking nuke container in jail. Guess who went to school the next day? Me, dog. I just needed some jail, dog. <laughs> Your mom went to school. You like that? <laughs> hey, go take notes for me. Go take notes and tell him you forgot the jail, right? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine shit. Joe's out. The principal's like, why are you here? <laughs> She's like, I forgot to buy the gel. Was it on the list? <laughs> That's all my dad said. Was it on the list? There was a list? You had a list? Well, yeah. You know how you go grocery shopping? There's a list. And I, you, my mom would always have a list. And you'd go and like, well, well you need it on, on the list. list. And Joe was like, it's not that expensive. It wasn't even about it. was just it was like two bucks for the big ass hot no? That's why. My dad was like, why didn't you get it? And she's like, some of you all was like, then for homie ain't going to go to school. Damn, just for just Always crazy. had my bag. That's why I'm a, That's why when my dad hit me up and said, yo, can you take the condom out the pocket? <laughs> on sight. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. And I'm, I'm on it. And I'm going to get your yayo. Hey, wait, el condom, pendejo. No el perico. Nada más que el cubre perico, güey. No el perico. Oh, fuck, dude. 
Man. So yeah, the fight, the fight, the UFC fight. Who, who it's gonna be? The I wanna do Max Holloway versus uh, Gaethje. That was gonna be a good fight. I think that was oh, gonna be a, a putazo fest. Yeah, Gaethje's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, dog. that fool's dope. Yeah. I like that fool. Well, Gaethje's a bad motherfucker. And yeah, Max is dope too. So that's gonna be a straight up. Fight. I think it's only gonna go one round. You think uh, so? Yeah, because they're, they're gonna just try to kill each other. They already said they're gonna try to kill each other. So. I mean. Aren't they always trying to kill each other? I kind of hate when I hear that, like, oh, I'm trying to kill each other. I'm like, they're all, at the end of the day, trying to kill each other. Like, not that you would, but if you could, you you would. Well, yeah, I think they are. Just the wrestling fools that are in there, they're just trying to hug you up on that. Like, yeah. What does Jorge Masvidal call them? The, the nut sniffers, or what do they call them? <laughs> nut sniffers. Yeah, yeah the, the fools that just wrestle, they want to just sniff your nuts. So, I hate it when it's just that. Like, man, throw putazos or your cakes or something. Dude, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if you, like, I'm not that into it, but today I was at the barbershop, and I, I live in Glendale. Fool, there's an Armenian fighting. And you know Armenians hold it down for the raza. They're, like, Lati- they're Latinos. They're Latinos. They're, they're Mexicans. La- <laughs> like Andrew Schultz said, these fools are Mexicans, yeah. dog. But they're, they're, I guess the guy at the barbershop was like, yo, me and like 16 of my cousins are going to go watch the fight to yeah. promote, to support like Armenia, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I hope to see a lot of Armenian flags out there on the fucking UFC thing. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going to be deep. Deep, dog. Have you ever thought about sponsoring a UFC fighter? Because I know you do boxing. And have you ever tried to like... Or is it not your thing? Or I like it now. Before I, I didn't watch it. Now I do watch it. When, I, I watch did you kind of thought it was gay when you first came out? You thought it was too much because I remember people would be like, "That's some homo shit." Like you're I, on I the floor, like, like nuts it. on your face, dick in your mouth. Whoa, <laughs> you sure you're, you were watching UFC? <laughs> what the fuck? What, what no, but you would hear from? the boxers like real boxers would be like, "Esas jotadas." My dad would be like, "Que son esas jotadas?" I really you remember. Just, you just came on your dad watching porn like, "Oh, it's UFC way, it's UFC." <laughs> UFC, like, wait, like, <laughs> no, but at first I didn't like it. It was too much hugging. I was like, I don't yeah. get this. It's just food on the floor hugging and like, but then now I get it. But I still don't like watching those fights. But it's a hugging fight. Like, they get a little yeah. boring sometimes. Yeah, yeah. cause like three but, minutes of choking each other out on the floor, and no one's going see, out. Like, see, but this as a fool who's kicked it with like Eddie Bravo and those jujitsu people. If you know what you're watching. It's entertaining. Like, they really are, like, well, playing I'm, chess. I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm that's what I'm Joe saying. Rogan. Yeah, yeah. That's Joe what, Rogan no. making it. So I just said, just because we don't know doesn't mean it's not interesting. But yeah. I, I agree with you. It's boring. I want to see putazos. I want to see blood. But I just say, we can't just say it's boring. There's a reason it happens. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but no, I'm still boring. I'm going to stop. <laughs> so, so I'm you not be, tuning in. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, hug them a little bit all right, more. All right, so here. Sniff those balls. Right, so here's <laughs> the rundown. Here's the rundown. Scumbags. You get hit up by, like, a scummy-ass fucking MMA fighter. And you sponsor this fool. And this fool ends up rolling on the ground for. Five minutes. <laughs> Sponsorship over, dog? Like, it's over? Like, if you're not fucking no, no, the at, at that point, he's a homie. Fuck it. Roll, around, roll, roll, around, roll, roll around, around. Roll around. Roll around. Roll around. Just don't lose. Roll around. <laughs> I, I was rolling joints. He was rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> but if I'm not sponsored, now I'm changing the channel. Hey, fool, come on. Get up, dog. Come on. Get up, doggy. Now, that's crazy that at the UFC, you can't sponsor, like, shorts. That's crazy. To no, me. It's, it's over. That's why when I see all the old old footage, like the old Nate Diaz footage, and they have sponsors and all that shit. I don't like. I, I used to like how I look back then, like what I was sponsored on the. On it was the funny. Show. Remember there was like Condom Depot and like spons- like Condom cr- Depot. Yeah, they had crazy sponsors. What the fuck? Yeah, because you could sponsor wherever as long as it wasn't vulgar. So you had like Condom Depot. Like who, obviously you can, if your homie like scumbags, you could they could literally could have got a sponsor that said scumbags on the front. But now they know I cut all that shit off. Yep. Like what five years ago maybe? Yeah, he gave it all to Reebok. He signed a deal with Reebok. Gave everybody how to wear. Why they're mad though? UFC fools don't like that shit because they said that, that it loses your. That's your. That's your. That's your bag. Because it's like five thousand dollars a patch or ten. People are paying like ten thousand dollars a patch. If they wear ten patches, Mister Math Guy, what is it? Hundred wow. grand. And they're Quick. missing out on that. Like damn. Nah, what? but um, you know who cried about it? Who? Brendan Shops. You know Brendan Shops, the podcaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says that he would make more money off the shorts than what fucking Dana would pay him. Damn. That's crazy. For them to literally tell you you can't do that no more? Then pay me more? But wait, uh, took, I wonder why he took it off, though. Like, that's full. Reebok gave him a deal that he couldn't resist, fool. But he should give that money to the fools, no? He don't need to. Because where else are they going to go fight? He knows. He knows that they have no other option. What the fuck is Bellator? <laughs> Remember it, Bellator? It, it's still there. It, but... Well, yeah, it's, not, fuck. it's not UFC, though. But. It's not UFC. We'll never be... I mean, it sucks. It's I, never watch it. I never watch a Bellator fight. So yeah. I wouldn't even know. But that is fucked up. But yeah, I would sponsor one. But not none has hit me up. I so don't. Should I pop it open now? Loud, dog, loud. You hear that? <laughs> now kick your female again. A, a little foamy for the homie. Reminder, stay outside. Yeah. Scumbag just could, open up another beer. Yeah, I, see her coming in. I see her coming in. Hey, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. 
<laughs> Come on now. It's a man show. <laughs> Fuck out of here. So, yeah. yeah. You shouldn't even have to open your own beer. We should have a female here that opens our beers. That's true. Chili. Come out under the table, man. Under the table, come here. Stop blowing me. <laughs> blow, blow some cans. <laughs> No, I think by episode 20, they'll be bitching under the table. Yeah, easy. We'll call it trolling over there when they play beer pong. Trolling? Oh, trolling? Yeah, we'll have bitches trolling. Have you ever trolled? <laughs> the fuck no. What the you fuck? Never, it's a rule. If you play beer pong and you don't make a ball, you have to troll. I've never been there, but I have signed up for those rules. We haven't played with... I, I never played with that rule. That was more like when we went to the white boy areas. Oh, that, yeah, 100% white boy shit. Yeah. You got to kick it there till the next game is because over. You, you think some fool, a Latino with some Jordans is going to actually go under there and freeze oh. the Jays? I throw the table before <laughs> I stand there all day like I'll pick up the table and put it over me. All right, I'm trolling. Like, let's go. That is why people shit like uh, Edward Scissor's hand. White people shit. The movie? <laughs> or was the, uh, this a beer pong movie? Edward Scissor's hand. You ever heard that? Okay, so Edward Scissor's hand. White people shit. College. So you get two 40s and you get the homies to tape them to your hand. Oh, I've never done that. And you had to drink both of them and you you have to finish both of them before they un- untie you. But it's awesome, yeah. Like your body, like your bladder is not meant to hold 48. It's two 40s, 80, 80 ounces. If they're 40 ounces. Well, just drink one. No, but that one's going to get hot. You No, they're tied to your. They're tied. With tape, fool. So, so you got to drink both before they can release one? Yeah. So you, so if you don't finish them, te vas a miar. The point is you have to finish them before the homie takes the tape off. And if you don't, you're going to piss yourself. And you're going to be pissing yourself holding two 40s, dog. Nah, <laughs> just drink, drink one. Then fill it up. How are you going to put your dick and take your pants down and undo your pants? You're, they're tied. Literally, these white people tie each other. It's a game. <laughs> well, the, their wife will fight to their homie to hold their dick, no? <laughs> You know, they're like, I'm holding Kyle's dick, fool. Kyle, like, take a, pic- Kyle take a picture, fool. It's just funny. It's going to be on the billboards tomorrow. Like, you know, they always do weird shit. They, nah, they want to pant you. White, pe- white people, I got to give it up to white people. I, lo- I, I love my white people, but y'all fools be wilding out. That gay shit's too gay sometimes. Their humor is too sexual. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? They always like, just- you ever seen um, Blue Mountain State? No. What's that? You ever seen Blue Mountain State? Is that what it's called, right? Blue Mountain State, um... Sorry, they didn't show these videos in, in, at our school. No, 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 no. It's a show, uh, Blue Mountain State. It was uh, on, uh, yeah, Blue Mountain State. It's a, f- uh, it's a f- you got to watch it. Oh, my God. It's a show about frat boys and football, and it's just some debauchery shit and, like, white people shit. We're like, um, you've heard of um, the GOAT? This, um, uh, Kobe? They're just, like, white people shit. No, not the GOAT. It's called something else. Yeah, where you put your balls in between your fucking legs and you call it the goat or something like that. It's like white people what? shit. Why does Chili know this? Yeah, why does she remind me of what it was oh, called? She lives, she's close to a Lake Elsinore, too. That's why, like... <laughs> no, this is like white people frat shit, like, where, like, they, they pants each other and they, like... It, trust me. People out there who know Blue Mountain State, it's a fucking show on Netflix. They made a whole movie about it. It's about frat boys doing nasty, crazy shit, and you watch it and you're like, bro, wild shit. Did you, did you ever want to be a frat boy growing up? Well, you grew up in yeah. that side. Like, yeah. To us, no one knew about what a frat boy was. Well, we did, but that was movie shit to us. Like, being a frat boy, we never thought about going to on the university, you know? Dog, I, dude, when the song um, I Love College by Asher Roth came out, my GPA went up so high that year. The, <laughs> teacher, the, 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 the principal said, what happened, boy? And I said, I watched well, GP, Your GPS? <laughs> my oh. GPA. You oh, know what GPA is? Did I say GPS? Oh. What, your general PISA administration or what? <laughs> My GPA. So you know he didn't graduate. Doesn't even know what a GPA is. <laughs> never got GPA, that far. GPA is like your average. Didn't even let me tell you that. I, the GPA, don't even, don't. Let's not waste paper. Let's not waste paper. Just, let, let, just go to nutrition. Like, oh, all right. Fuck. No, but I'm not going to lie. I, I Love College song came out when I was in high school. So, yes, when I, that song came out, I was like, What? This is what college is about. This is not what the teachers were telling me that it's going to go down. And at the, at the teachers at one point were like, we would ask them, like, hey, is this how it's going to go down? And she's like, yeah, I can. <laughs> and that's when I was sent Wait. into. I got accepted to three colleges. But since I was illegal and I couldn't get a loan, I didn't go. Damn, what the fuck? Sad dog. Got accepted to Cal State, Cal State Channel Islands, Cal State San Bernardino, and Cal State San Marcos. Well, those are just normal colleges. Illegal. Don't? That's like ELAC, right? <laughs> huh? That's like ELAC, isn't it? No, that's Cal State. That's a real college. That's like university. They have, but they don't have frats, right? They're the frats yeah, they are, are USC and No, UCLA. they have every college. has a, Every state college has a frat. San Bar- Santa Barbara has some of the best frats. San Diego State has some of the best frats. Well, Santa Barbara has hella hoes. Fool, I went, to a, I went to a college trip. I was in Avid. Do you know what Avid is? 
No. Oh, it's for like stupid people that want to go to college. Then why didn't I go there? You should have been there. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Sick talking. ass invite. Sick <laughs> ass invite. <laughs> so they help you. It's like it's like they help you get into college, dog. And they took me to. Well, this is the first time I fingered a bitch. Oh, this is so crazy. I'm just remembering this. And that was the first time you fingered a bitch in college? No. It was like in, uh, like, sophomore year. Or, like, mm, yeah, like. So that's all you learned in that college. Like, come here, kid, let's take you to college. <laughs> all I know no. is how to pop a beer so, open. And, so listen up. So listen up. So listen up. Uh, so I'm in this avid class, and they're supposed to help you get to college. So they had a college trip. And a college trip means, like, they, would, they grabbed all, like, the kids that wanted to go to college. So parentheses. And they all fucking put us in a bus, and we went all up north. So we went to so Cal- the short the short bus. And yeah, they, and they gave me a helmet, <laughs> and they fools going to the wrong school. They're like, <laughs> no, que, dog. Your mom was like, "Para qué quieres jail? So they're gonna put a helmet on you anyway." We went to like, all these schools, dog. It was so fuck? cool. I remember being a kid. And I was like, "Bro, college is gonna be cool." And then to find out that I was illegal and I couldn't go. <laughs> but what so did they bad. tell you when you went to the office? Like, sorry, uh, Javier. But no, well, they told this, me this paperwork makes no sense. It says you're 32 here. No, like, they, well, obviously they told me I could go, but you need money <laughs> to go and you need a social security number to get a, to get a, a loan. So you could you could have just paid for it if I had cash. Yeah, my parents were rich. I could have, but I couldn't. So I needed a loan. And they're like, well, you need a social security number for a loan. At the moment, I couldn't get a loan. So I literally sat there, went home, cried. I ain't gonna lie. I went home, cried. Por qué no soy americano? Yeah, I was like, why'd you wow. guys like phone in Mexico? <laughs> You, you, you put my, the condom back in your dad's pocket. My dad's like, <laughs> like <laughs> I, 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 I sit on my dad. My, my dad cheated on you, mom. <laughs> you, you wrote a letter, put it in the mailbox, like anonymous, <laughs> anonymous letter. I'm all weetado, bro. My parents just looking at me. They're sad too because they're like, oh, boy, it's just life sucks. Like, he's, still gonna, he's still gonna live here. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, this fucking this madroso is gonna still be here. What's up, my boy? I know it's early in the morning, don't judge me. Damn, you're fully toxic this morning, actually. Tell me y'all fully stocked. Yeah, actually the homies restocking as we speak. You know Craft Beer King stay stocked up. Donde, XG? Andamos al cien? Al millón, loco. Talking about fully toxic, she drove me here. What? Tartosica's outside? You know I can't stand her without the Tecate and the good head she gives me. Can I see your ID? Are you over 21 XG? Why you gotta ask me that stupid question all the time? Come on, fool. You know it's the law. You illegal. All right, I'll see you later. Take a shower. Brown power. All right, so let's get into the topics. So what do you think about... You know how people... Well, people always tell me, yeah, you should start dating somebody, blah, blah, get a girlfriend, all this shit. And I'm like, hell no, I never want to date nobody. You know, like, I'm good. I'm, I'm cool being single. I've been single since, like, 2009. Damn, so, bro. So I'm a professional singular, no? Professional singular. I've never heard that, but if I had to <laughs> give it to someone, it is motherfucking you, dog. <laughs> professional singular, dude. Yeah, a break up, like, a breakup to me and shit, like... Well, like, bitches, I was like, oh, I'm going to stop talking to you. Like, I don't give a fuck. Better for me. I have more time for myself now. Like, I can hang out with the homies or whatever, do whatever I want. Like, dating always seems like a burden to me, dog. Like, I got to check into my girlfriend. Like, oh, I got to tell her I'm going to go somewhere. Or she's going to get mad. All right, all right, all right. So when's the last time you did something that you didn't want to do? Like, you did it to get pussy or you did it because you liked her or you did it mostly like, I'll do it. Whatever. She wants to go watch this movie. Fuck it. I'll go. Like, it's not what I would watch. But fuck it. When's the last time you did something like that? Where you kind of went out of your way? Fuck, I don't know. I, I, I really got to think about this one. Because last time I went to the movies, I got to pick the movie. Yeah, it doesn't count. Like, you have something that's inconvenience to you, dog. Like, like this weekend, some chick wants me to go to the flea market. To the but, fucking... But you want to go, The though, Rose Bowl. Huh? I don't. I hate the flea market. There's Why? no what? deals. It's all E-Zones reselling shit, dog. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all people it's that so already... Yeah, it's not, it's, not a, it's not a swami. I'm down to go to the swami. The Costa Mesa swami, I'm down for that. This is a flea market. This means people already bought shit trying to resell me shit. Like Jordans that are, they already found on OfferUp trying to resell them to me. You get uh, what I mean? Oh, that beat up? No, they're, no, they're nice, but that's what I mean. I don't, you, you have, then you haven't been to a flea so that's market. Her, that's your, she's taking you out like, hey, this Sunday, don't make plans. She's like, go with me. And it's that thing where, like, go right. with me or you better go with me? No, go with me. Like, si quieres. And I sat there and I was like, well, if I go, I'm going to eat some shrooms. 
But if, makes you, it if, fun. if you don't go, you say, oh, you know what? Fuck it. The Lakers are playing. I, I'm cool. Well, you, you go with your homegirls. Would she get mad at you? No. I mean, no. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm doing it to... out of me. I'm because I because I if she's asking me. and You're like, fuck. It's not an ultimatum. I don't have. And you should know, dude. Should have an ultimatum. If she tells you, if you don't come, we're breaking up. All right. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> go. It's more of a hey. I do. You're like, okay. This bitch always comes to do shit that that I want to do. Yeah. Every once in a while, you got to throw a bone. So the, the bone flea market ain't that bad. That's what I'm saying. The flea market ain't that bad. No, I'm like, not ah. bad. That's but what I'm it, saying. It, eat some shrooms, go eat a michi, drink a beer. But then she go, go, go to brunch with me and my girl. Then you got to hear See, all this fucking shit. That's what I mean. That's yeah, one I where I'm like. Bitches talk. Like, you already there with your girls. You don't need me. Like, you are you, you What are you there for? Like, to be a puppy. Like, oh, I brought my puppy. To pay? <laughs> not paying. <laughs> Especially not scumbags, if that's what you think. <laughs> and you got to be there not being yourself. Let, let me crack a joke. Oh, no. that all hurt. No, no. She'll be like, calmadito, calmado. Like. Right no. when you're about to say something, she does the famous squeeze on the thigh. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like you, you go to the bathroom, she follows you. Like, I told you, don't be acting up in here, XG. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. You've gone to the bathroom four or five times. Are you on cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> this These early... are my good friends. These are my work friends. These are not my party friends. I told you. In front of my coworkers? Yeah. Por te bien. Clean up your nose. <laughs> But for real though, you never. What's the last time you done something that inconvenienced you, dog? Don't sit here and act like you're. Uh, must have been sometime you're like, man, I don't want sushi, but this bitch loves sushi. Let's go get some sushi. Nah, <laughs> dude. To be honest, I never do. I'm like, fuck that. My way or the highway. To be honest, like, on Sunday I'm going on a date on Sunday, and then uh, the girls are like, hey, let's try out this restaurant. I looked at the menu. I was like, is there any meat? No homo. But is there any meat? Oh, that's different. I'm not. I I, I want to accommodate vegan shit. Yeah, I, ha- well, I, I want to accommodate and that. It had, like, it had carne, but wrapped in some other shit like. Ah, what the hell is this? This kind of new to me. I'm not trying to go here and waste my money. And so then what'd you tell her? Pick another spot. <laughs> the fuck? Pick another spot. You want me there? Hey, hey, but look, but look. You at least said pick another spot. You're still giving her options. You're still yeah, throwing yeah. her a bone. You said, I don't like this. I'll give you another option. You weren't like, nah, bitch, we're going to eat tacos down the street. No, 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 not this, not this one. <laughs> That's not what I'm that. saying, yeah. Because <laughs> I know if you really wanted to, you'd be like, tacos down the street, shut so, up. Yeah, we're just going to go to the bar, right? <laughs> No, but sometimes you got to throw them a bone for the homies out there. Throw your girl a bone. A little one, you know? Oh, well, yeah. She's a bitch. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I hope your girlfriends are not in the room. I right told now. You, we fool. told you to kick them out. Yeah, we told you to kick your girlfriend out. She probably has her ear on the door like, what is he fucking listening to? This shit again? Did he listen to come and kick it again? Damn. She might, get, she might end up breaking up with that yeah. fool. She's going to she's gonna know that on Wednesday nights, she's just going to. Leave the room. <laughs> get now, out. Eventually, you're not going to have to tell her, dog. She's like, Wednesday nights, I got to Nah, this show's going to get banned from her, him watching it. Like, <laughs> and man, that fool gets broken up with. That fool's fucking like, like our age and gets broken up with. I'll be like, damn. Sorry, homie. You, see you, you, and then he's out in the street. We see him out in the street. Like, hey, what you th-? He's like, I'm a fan of the show. My girl broke up with me and I'm single and I'm not living my best life. <laughs> like, I, I or, get- or look, look, or that could be the get down or this could be the real get down. He starts listening to Scum and Kick It. They're in love. <laughs> They're in love. His girl tells him, can't listen to Scum and Kick It. Stop listening to Scum and Kick It. They, he stops listening to Scum and Kick It. They get married. Then they get a divorce. He comes back to, so, <laughs> to Scum and Kick It. Scum and Kick It season two? He comes season back two after, three, the, after the divorce, dog. I think we're going to get a lot of fools in the divorce game because we're it? older, dog. We're older. So a lot of fools are going to be like... Yeah, man, fuck my ex, bitch. Fuck my, my my baby mama. A lot of fools right now are like, yeah. Well, the fool, the fool that reminded that, I told him, hey, have you watched the, the, my podcast? Like, no, I can't relate to what you guys are talking about. Oh, yeah. Cause Just wait till they get a divorce. Yeah. Wait till Just get- wait till that <laughs> homie gets a divorce, dog. All these married fools are leaving and their girls like, wait, you're going to get a divorce. You're going to come back to this channel one day. You're going to be like, fuck, these fools were right. But damn, I should listen to that show from episode one. Yeah, I should have kicked my fucking chick out the room. <laughs> <laughs> But she's here with me with the popcorn. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. No, but you know how those fools, okay, like, you ever kick it with your married homies and you're at the bar with them, right? And they're, like, texting their bitch the whole time. or like, oh, I got to be home by 9 or she's going to be tripping. And they're, like, man, fool, if I was single, I'll be hounding at all the bitches. No, they won't. No, they won't. I <laughs> <laughs> suppose they're well, all lame just. Yeah, <laughs> like, you have no game, dog. Like, the whole thing, like, damn, when they divorce them or whatever, like, all right, the homie's, like, hey, fool, my girl just broke up with me. Can I go party with you? You got bitches? And like, yeah. Then you bring them out. And they don't know what to do. Like, a little perro wild right there. Like, come on, dog. Like, pick up on the bitch. Like, what do I tell them? Like, 
Who's tell her you're divorced. Start off oh, with yeah. that, dog. <laughs> Start off with that. And if she keeps talking, good. <laughs> she <laughs> tell the girl, I'm divorced. And she says, I got to go to the bathroom. Cool. She don't fuck with divorce as fools. That maybe she's getting, call, maybe getting coked out to listen to the story. Or like, maybe. But if you literally, if you're if you're literally, I don't know how to talk to a chick, go up to like, dude, I'm going through a divorce. And, and that's always, but that's always their first topic. When they, newly single, older fools, their first topic like, I was married. Like, oh, you already started with Debbie Downer shit? Like, fool, the bitch don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Some She's bitches outside. like that shit, though. I've never been there. I'm not, I'm not a sympathy sad <laughs> fool. You can see my Instagram. I've, I don't post that sad. Like, man, look at me cry. Nah, <laughs> but some bitches fall for that fool. I'm pretty sure a lot of chicks be like, some fool be like, I'm so sad I'm going through a breakup. Some chick will be like, I'm there. Just like you, just like you, dog. When you see sad chicks, you're like, I'm there. Uh, I'm big, sad, happy, I'm there. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Sad, happy, horny, not horny. What's up? I'm here. <laughs> but I'm sure there's some chicks that are out there looking for sympathy dick. You know, like this fool's going through a breakup. I can save him. And you know that you know you lower your standards through a breakup. Well, that's true. The, the bitch, oh dude, he was dating an eight. I'm a seven. No, and, but, and it's through breakup, so I have a chance. No, but okay, let's talk about normal fool. It could be always compared to us fools. We got to compare it to a fool that has a normal job, a normal looking bitch where it's like, ah, oh, play, that's what you ended up with? Like, that was your investment? Like, ah, oh, come on, fool. Like, he, they already know, like, oh, let me see your ex-wife. Like, oh, that, oh, what were you doing with that for so long, you know? The, the oh, I would ne- never show my real ex-wife. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm not even. I'm not showing my real Stupid, ex-wife. Have- I'm making a real new ex-wife. Like, I'll make a profile for my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, it's my ex-wife. She deleted me. That's why I'm not on there. I'm, she's, blo- she's, I, <laughs> I'm blocked, but let me, fo- let me see her account. Let me yeah, I, 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 that's, that's, how, that's how intense I would get. I'll be like, you want to see my ex-wife? I'll be like, let me see your Instagram because she's blocking me on mine. That way she could creep and on I her later And I will pull up an old, like, finest bitch. She's like, damn, he's, cl- he's thinking about me? Like I can, I can get this fool. See, oh, now we're giving a game then, because oh, they listen. Game hey, this to be sold, not told. I'm fucking up, huh, dog. I'm fucking up, dog. I'm giving you guys straight game. This right is here. where the Patreon starts, you guys. <laughs> so for five ninety nine, you get you get your bitch back. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. We only no, have but, a drone. No yeah. Patreon. <laughs> Don't ever show your real ex wife unless she's like super fine. Like, nah, but fools are not gonna be thinking like that. So it's like. That's a smart idea, cause Dan. Super smart, bro. But look at the look for her through her phone, because the next day she'll like, he'll, she'll go like through her search, like, oh yeah, oh, that's really her, like, she'll wow. she'll screenshot and send it to her homegirls. Yeah, you yeah. wanna see his ex wife? Like, I wonder why oh, they broke up. Yeah, but be careful, cause they might DM her. Now you have to DM them back, be like, cause you're gonna be on that count. Be like, Dan, oh, so dude, you have to go through a whole catfish. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you got a whole. You like, yeah, Bob Dick, how you get him? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't want, I don't want the marriage back. I just want some sex. I'm like, <laughs> like, have that in the DMs. Like, leave your phone there when you go to the bathroom. I'm like, and then just fake messages to yourself. Like, like, like. Oh, someone's gonna run this, dog. Someone's gonna run and this. If you do DM us, oh, oh, let oh, us know, homie. <laughs> that's I guess we're making the breakup not seem so bad then, cause damn, I always thought like once you break up, it's. Damn, it's long gone. Well, it depends. If you like older bitches, you'll still be in the game, right? Like, let's say you're 35. Would you date a divorced chick that didn't have kids? Because I know you wouldn't date a chick with kids, but would you date a chick that was divorced? Like, she dated a like a, like a baller. That's why she got married to him. And she knew how to, like, not get pregnant because I don't know how. It's not hard. <laughs> like, a thousand ways not to get pregnant. Bitches don't want abortions. Like, so it makes I, no sense. I don't. It's because I never ask about their past, bro. I don't ask them about, like... What was your last friendship like? Who is that fool? Like, I have no idea, and I don't care. Like, I, I don't ask none of that shit. Like, I said, would you date them? After a while, you have to ask for well, dating someone. Like, would you sit in there at dinner looking at each other? Yeah, I'm looking at them titties. What's up, bro? Let <laughs> me suck those big ass titties. What's up, fuck? That's like, no, I have a half. Fuck, because I haven't dated them such a long time. <laughs> You gotta give me some advice. I haven't. Well, and I and I agree with you. I'm laughing because first, second day, that's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> but the third day, eventually, I'm like, well, okay, I already got some titties. So where do you used to? Where'd you grow up at? <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite color? Like, uh, what size are you in shoe? You know, do you like EDM or you just met me there? Like, after a while, third day after so much titties. No, nah, I'll be like, is that still on the menu? <laughs> Damn, how much for those? Like. <laughs> <laughs> now what you do after you date after like fuck, I do get tired of bitches quick like maybe after the attempt date I'm like oh, I could do better <laughs> like, if I got this already I could do way better and then you go to restaurants and other bitches are looking at you like you know how when you have a girlfriend everybody wants you hey everybody but when does. you're single they don't even fucking it's look at you it's forbidden fruit you smell, forbidden fruit you smell like death like <laughs> no I don't want that dick that fool smells like death and then you have a girlfriend like all the bitches come out of the woodwork like 
my ex from 10 years ago popped out. I'm looking bomb with new titties. Like, now I want to have a girlfriend for bitches that like me. Because right now it's like, being single, they're like, oh, he's single. And why don't you lie about having a girlfriend? Why don't you start tagging some random chick and be like, oh, out here. And then you put up like a martini and like old fashioned, you know? Well, I'm going on, I'm going on a date this Sunday, so I'm going to try it out. I'm going I'm to po- post like no headshot, just titties. Yeah, what they do, just, just two drinks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, a, it's always like a martini and then a manly drink. So yeah, like yeah, the yeah. ex-boyfriend knows like, oh, she's with some dude. I hate that. And then, and then, and then you have to see that story. You see that two plates. No three plates. Shout out to Tommy. Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> but you see two plates and like some expensive. She's like, oh shit. Then you wait six hours, and then she shows the home girl. She was way hot. Like, yeah. like ah, oh, this or, whole time you had me like. Or it's deleted. She had my co- my co- my co card going all high. Like, oh, who's she with? Who's she with? And it's like, ah, oh, she with her drunk ass home girl that drinks like a man. That's why like, you got. So that's why you got to look at the drink. But you're well, right. Yeah, why her drunk ass home girl drinks like a man? Because <laughs> yeah, like, if it's too, eat, eat yeah, like a man too. If it's two martinis, don't trip. Your girl's with another fucking female unless she's with the twink. But like, <laughs> but like that's what I'm saying. You gotta look at the drink and you gotta eat what he's eating. If he's eating a nice little ribeye and he got the tomahawk, you in trouble, my boy. This was a baller. Uh-huh. <laughs> but if he's eating and they a both little... have a tomahawk, like I could have never got her a tomahawk. Nah, uh-huh. we sharing the tomahawk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of me. We we're spitting the bill for sure. No tomahawk about it. <laughs> You know how bad I wanted to go to that, uh, the Salt Bay yeah. in Miami? Well, I, I was into that no. shit because I don't know. When I went to Miami, I wanted to go because I was in Miami. And he's got a you restaurant there. You wanted that food to feed you, huh? For no, I just sure. wanted the Golden Steak, dog. I wanted the Golden Flakes. Dude, when Maybe I went to Miami, minute. I tried to make a reservation. It was that packed that there was no reservation that weekend. For that fucking guy that goes like this with the Salt, well, salt Bay. Well, didn't he try to feed you that shit? Would he open your mouth or no? For dinner? No, you bought you bought the steak. Oh, and no. he, he tries no, to give you no, the meat. That's case shit. Or, or, no, 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 put it, put it, a female. Put it down. Put it down. Hey, put the it. morrita de allá. <laughs> no, but la and, mesera. Went to pa acá. But not salt <laughs> bay, dog. <laughs> and then like, oh uh, no, no, her, her. Okay, yeah, okay, dog, okay, her, her. Yeah, bring it over here. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Feed it to me like a bird too, bitch. Like, yeah, you can chew it. <laughs> well, that's like a bird, dog. That's birdie feeding. She got to chew it for you, dog. Chew, chew it. It has sensitive teeth. <laughs> like, you'll get mad at that fool if you were with a bitch and he gave the, that bitch the meat like that. And she was down. She was with it. Like, fool. That stupid shit that they do in Tijuana where they, like, shake the bitch's oh, yeah. head and they, like, kind of flirt with her. Nah, nah, I can't do that shit. My girl can't do that shit. That, you're, the whole... you're fighting that fool with the, the tequila man? You know, the tequila guy, no? He no, the, tequila... the Cantaritos guy. Cantaritos. C- can- cantaritos. What Aren't they cantaritos? Those things that come in the ceramic, in the uh, ceramic, the ceramic big bowls in Mexico. You haven't but what, seen them? What does he do? He spins that shit and puts your bitches tits in there? No, he like spins your head. You've never seen those when you go to TJ that when you take a shot, they like spin your head. Oh, and yeah, like, yeah. Well, he get, and they'll I, like I make out with, not make out with you, but they'll throw <laughs> with you. With you the no, the, the guy is insating that he's very yeah. sexual with your girl and it's supposed to be part of a shot. Oh, no, but he, you're the like. Boy, he's giving her dick and all that shit with the bottle. Like, yeah, it's insinuating like, shit. And you're like, yo, that's someone's female. Like, sometimes it is, but they're on a girl's yeah. trip. Oh, it can't, it's okay. I'm on huh? a girl's trip. <laughs> Look, stupid. Why are you tripping, babe? Yeah. It's me and the girls. Like, man, fuck you. They always try to cheat like that. But just stay cheating, fool. For sure, dog. But anyway, so now oh, it's because I see I see girl strips all the time on my Instagram. And I don't I, trust and, those shit. And, and, and I'm always I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like cause chicks kind of they, they they still like they still fuck with me. I'm always part of the close friends on Instagram, and there's some wild shit on the close friends. I'm like because they're yeah. hiding the shit from their fool from their main battle, but they still want to show that they're thoughts. Why, what, do, that, why do they that? still? Have, why don't they? Okay, I'm on the close friends too, and then. Close friends is good, dog. You get the good wild shit. You're like, this girl's wild. They be publicizing in the, in the close friend, like, the, them being super ratchet. I'm like, okay, yeah. you, know I'm no in shame. you know I'm in here, right? Like, they don't care. They don't care. They're only, they don't, they're, they're only blocking, like, their vatos. Like, some girl posted, uh, la, que nos put, la que nos puta no disfruta. Damn. What's her at? Oh, what's her at? <laughs> what's her at? <laughs> what's her at? <laughs> esta puta? Nos puta no disfruta literally said means, in, in English, it means if you're not a whore, you don't enjoy. Damn. And I was like, they, and that was on her close, on her close friends because she's dating someone. Like, bro, that is savagery or fucking right. And I know who, she's dating someone. Who do you think cheats more, guys or girls? At the, nowadays, because back then we did. But no, who knows? Because the, they make the what's it called the the statistics. They'll say men cheated more back then when there was no phones, but because women knew how to hide better. So, but now you think more women cheat than men? Well, I don't even know, dog. I don't even want to know, dog. Don't scare me. 
No, like, see, no, I think women, I hang out with a lot of chicks, and the stories I hear them say, I'm like, damn, like, good thing I'm single, dog, because I'll be having a heart, uh, my heart will be broken like 20 times already. Do you remember, do, do you remember when Ashley Madison came out? No. Do you know what that is? No. Well, Ashley Madison, this was like in like, is like the sister of Billy Madison? <laughs> No, fool. <laughs> Ashley Madison was a website that came out like in the mid 2000s or early 2000s. I don't really remember the exact date, but it was a website that you would make an account and shit for it was for married people that wanted to have affairs. It was oh, a cheating no. website. It was crazy back you in the day. You were on there, you were logged in? I was a fucking baby. I didn't fucking have that. I was still a virgin, but I remember this coming out and it was a big <laughs> deal, dog. It was a big deal because you got to think about it. That's not morally, like for America, it was not okay. And he, this guy, the owner of the company, was trying to buy billboards for like the NFL and all this. It was called uh, Ashley Madison. The, no, the name was very common, like very, like, so you didn't a know. A cheating app cheating or app. a cuckold? Cheating app. Like you'd go there and you'd pay. To fucking make an account and you were saying that I'm a married man or a married female that wants to have relationships with other married females and other married men. That way y'all fools both shut the fuck up. So a cuckold? Pretty, not no, a cuckold, no cuckolding. It was, just, it was just the first. And I was just wondering if you ever heard about it. Like, cause you, no, it's the first time I hear about it. Oh, well, yeah, it's a whole app for cheating, dog. So for sure. For someone who's a big Hella. cheater, I'm surprised you haven't heard of fucking Ashley Madison, well, dog. I don't date. They could do whatever they want to go fuck about that shit. She's on Ashley Madison. Why am I going to ask? Like, oh, you're on this fucking website? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> She's on Instagram. That's all I care about. <laughs> the fuck? Is her name Ashley Madison? That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> As long as her oh, name's Ashley or Madison, I don't care. Ashley Madison does sound like a player ass female, huh? It is, dog. Ashley yeah. Madison. That was the point of the fucking thing. It sounded very like, not. It, it wasn't like cheating.com. It was literally very like Ashley Madison. Because if you look, if let's say you you find out that your man's being sketchy, you t- go on his website, search history, say Ashley Madison, you're like, oh, that's a stupid website. Well, you yeah, don't know yeah. it's a website para ir a fucking culiar and fucking be unfaithful little fucker. I don't know. It's crazy though. I, never I heard can't of believe it. there was a web. Yeah, there's a whole website for it. At that point, just get a divorce, no? Like, gonna go all or like through all that, that trouble. That's why I don't get to the point of getting married. Like, everybody that gets married, like all people. Imagine, imagine you were married, scumbags, and then you, you gotta get divorced, and you gotta give uh, this, half get, this no, bitch the on, company of scumbags. Like now, this give me now, a title note. Oh, I just thought about that shit. Give me a title note. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, man. I didn't give you a migraine for the rest of the day. My bad, player. Oh, I my, wasn't. Uh, what's going on in my brain? Imagine. Half her shit is half your shit is hers. I don't even care about that part. I just care about if I have to come home to the same bitch again. Like <laughs> three hundred, like chili in her beers. Beer number one twenty eight. Same bitch number one twenty eight. Like damn. I like I said one twenty eight. That's not even a year in. <laughs> People are already complaining at one twenty eight. One twenty eight with the same pussy. That's well, crazy. Well, some fools are like a date ten thousand dog. Some fools are like date ten thousand. This lame ass pussy that makes me no breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this pussy had to argue with that's supposedly mine. Like day two thousand and five. I love my wifey. <laughs> it's like if you get married, you have less sex, huh? I think. Like I don't know. I've met some fools that claim. I say claim. We don't know. That claim that fucking they give it give it to the wife on a daily basis, dog. <laughs> No. Claim, dog. And they're I'm bra- they're constru- bragging or no, she's bragging? No, and I'm talking construction workers, like my dad's homies, dog, where I'm kind of like, bro, no, you guys cansado? <laughs> <laughs> All that drilling and he's like, no, bro. He, but these fools swears, like, you have to give it to your lady because... And she's gonna cheat on you. And you're home. You're gone oh, yeah. all day. You cannot not let go. And these fools, like, as much as I thought they were lying, he's like, I do it more so she won't leave me. Oh, like, yeah, so true, you won't true. cheat on me. It's not because I. It's not because I'm a horneado. It's because <laughs> this bitch might. She won't have an excuse to leave me. I better wear out that pussy before she goes. Look, like, no me cogido una semana. Like, fuck. Yeah, because bitches. And fools that, will know. Be like that shit is tight. It's been like about a week. Cause bitches do be bitching about that part. Like, if you hear married bitches like, oh my husband don't fuck me no more, and you're like, what the fuck? Married couples don't fuck. That's crazy. And that fool's just not trying to hit it no more. You know, like, I wonder why he's not fucking me. Like, damn, well, bitch, you kind of whack. You know, like. <laughs> I don't think I, I wouldn't want to hit either. Like, fuck. But yeah, that's why I can't come home to the same bitch all the time. That shit. If I'm dating for like three weeks, I'm annoyed. <laughs> like, hey, do you think her again? What, what up? What up? A lot of people wear your merch. Different, very like different types of people. Yeah. Do you think there's some married fool out there? Literally rocking scum and kicking with his kids and shit at the park. <laughs> and his wife's just hey, like, <laughs> can I tell you one? <laughs> 
Shoot it. Let me let, let, describe this guy. Describe this. Describe your the homie. <laughs> this was in another state, but he sent me a video. I want to say he. I know he was wearing a scumbag's vest. I know his girlfriend was wearing a scumbag, but he proposed. No. I swear, I have the video somewhere in my. You Instagram. have a video with someone proposing with a scumbag gear and the vest. He had the vest on, and he proposed to his girl. And she and said, she said yeah. yes. Yeah, but I think they divorced already. Sounds Sunday. about right. Oh. So you know he's listening to Scum yeah, Kick it. Good shit, fool. Welcome back to the Welcome club. Welcome back, dog. Pop up with a beer. Two. Crack it. Uh, sound effects. That's sound effect here. Oh, shit. Ooh. Pop up with a beer. I feel like Burke Christ shirt. Should oh, I take my shirt off? Should I take my shirt off? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> a little foamy for the homie. Fucking, <laughs> fucking hoodstocks over here about to be fucking hoodstocks. You no take shirt. your shirt off. <laughs> But now, fucking that fool. I think he. I think they broke. Up. I think they're divorced or whatever happened. But welcome back, player. But yeah, fool. Hey, Mary so, fool buy, be buying scumbag because they'll be like, "Oh, my girlfriend hates it when I wear your shit." So I think they just buy it to get her mad. Like, yeah. my girl hates me wearing your shit, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy it anyway. Nice. So wait up. I got. I got a. I got a question for you. You talked about the homie going through divorce and like maybe being over it or not. And I know you're gonna be like on site the next day but like on the real life if you're going through a divorce like how long till you bonus the other chick oh another chick another chick whatever the other another chick you know if you're going through a divorce if you're going through a divorce you have you should have another or one already but But you think bitches are in your okay like you're dating your bitch (laughs) do do you think there's already see how this comes out naturally I didn't even try But, but for real though, like if your girl, if your girl literally tells you like, hey, um, on the real, I know we've been acting weird and like you're not letting me, you're not letting me, you're not hitting it no more. I want a divorce from that moment on. Like how soon should you get laid or like divorce of real, like how long should you set cry? Up, set, set up a uh, real divorce. Like you're married or divorce. Like real divorce. I live with my wife or well, my girl and break up or a, a, a marriage a contract because you can't cheat. And she says, I want to get a divorce. In court, that doesn't count, right? Yeah, in California, only one person needs. You don't even need to cheat. No, but if you're if you're married, you can't cheat, right? It's against the thing, or whatever. No. no, yeah, but not really. You don't get in trouble for so it. You can't really cheat right away, cause then fuck that. I want to risk. I'll, I'll hold off. I'll like, all right, let the paperwork go through, and then I could cheat, right? You can or, cheat all the time. You, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think so. My dad cheated. Well, he wasn't married, stupid. That's yeah, he was. was. Yeah, yeah, my illegally. To my mom. He, he was married illegally. Well, everybody had illegal cheats. Kobe Bryant <laughs> cheated. Everybody cheats when you're married. No, it's not really against. The, I mean, it is against the law, but it's not really against well, the well, law. law. He, yeah, okay, when they when he cheated, if she would have went to court with that, like, oh, I want a, a divorce, she would have got more money, no? Because the break, the, it, you're supposed to not cheat on your spouse. Not in California. There's rule. There's some states that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to cheat. Sometimes you just want a divorce. And, it's, and, and so there's some states where both parties have to be in agreement with the divorce. Some states where it's a bitch leaves it. I'm out of here. I'm out. Well, oh, all right. So but either you, way. You do have the, the note. Okay. She said on January something, she said she wants a divorce. So from there on, it's okay. fair play, right? You're saying like, okay, she said it. Yeah. Like I how long? The, how long? I, yeah. I, I, Shit, right away. That's, like, I, that's not okay, but I know you're I, saying that, but I'm talking about a normal person, hello, dog. Hello, what are you doing tonight? You want to fuck? All right, cool. <laughs> no, but I want to say, you think those fools have bitches in the DMs ready to? Oh, there's been like three bitches waiting for that divorce. Like, oh, we've been waiting for you to get divorced for so long, so you're good. Because I know the bitches have like 10 fools waiting. Like, oh, you got divorced? Where do you want to go? Mastro's? <laughs> and us, what are we going to get? We're not going to get like, bitches like, Oh, honey, you just got divorced. Uh, Want to go to Masters? Fuck, no, are you going to get like, you got divorced? Why? What happened? You know, you get the achievement more like. Mm-hmm. So, I'll, it's not like, I'll, you can't really say how long can you cheat. Unless you're going to fuck your co-worker. You know how you have your, your wifey co-worker? Yeah. When you work somewhere, you have like a fake girlfriend? I don't know. What I'm trying to say, like, <laughs> if my homie tells me, hey, I'm going through a divorce. Uh, and I'm be like, when did you find out? And he's like, last week. And I'm like, you hit something yet? And he says, nah. I'm like, you better get to it. Because she's already hitting something else, my boy. Like, you got to get on it quick. Like, but it's not the same like, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to let same. him cry a little bit. I'm going to let him be sad. But, like, after, like, Are you going to be there for him? Or are you going to be like, hey, Pedro, snap out of it? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, like go with your other like, like, if my homie. Like, if my homie texts me, he's like, yo, dog, my girl just asked for a divorce. And I'm like, when she asked for it? And I was like, Monday. I'm like, all right. I'm going to wait one week, two weeks, and then I'm going to hit him up. I'm like, yo, dog, what's up? Like, let's go clubbing. You hit anything yet? And he mm-hmm. says, nah, I'm still still mourning. Like, uh, someone died. <laughs> no, I'm, a, I'm not, At that point, I'm like, yo, dog, like, 
like I said, I'm gonna let I'll give him first two weeks. You know, I let I let, let him like you know. Nah, two weeks. Jerk off or something. Nah. He, he's gonna come, he's gonna think about it and want to get back with another two weeks and try to work it out. Like, so right off the bat, your homie says I'm going what? through a divorce Monday, a Tuesday. Hey, let's hit the bar. I, I, I'm gonna invite my homegirls. But don't act weird, Bro, fool. I like your thinking. I think I'm fucking up. No, I think I'm fucking up. I think I'm waiting too long. You're right. Yeah. Two weeks. Next thing you know, he already DM'd yeah, her. Yeah, he already, back he already went to the feda. He went. He got drunk by himself at the house. And he's texting <laughs> her. Hey, babe. Like, I'm sorry. Like, and she's out there they're, getting bored by some dude. They're, 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 they're reading the messages together. Like, laughing at that fool. Like, oh. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> <"Ay>, oh, pedo. <laughs> <laughs> so me and his girl are right. reading his messages. I fucked up, dog. I fucked up. Two two weeks is too long to, to, to let They already went on two makeup dinners, and it's not working out because she's still fucking the other fool. And this was still like, oh, we're going to get back to it. I can't go with you no more, XG. That's it. Like, nah, get him off the bat. That's your homie. Better let's go. We got two weeks before you fucking change your mind. Like, because then in two weeks, they change their mind. They, they want to get back. Cause they getting- yeah, she already got piped down by three guys, and now she wants to get back with the homie. Yeah, and, and he starts feeling it in his heart. Like, oh. The putazos that they're yeah. giving her? <laughs> yeah. That's why it's like every day I miss All of a sudden her heart starts beating randomly because <laughs> this bitch getting boned hard. I was like, what's up with my heart? What's going on? This bitch is getting SG, is this Coke or G-Funk? <laughs> SG, what did you give After me? After a girl getting boned, homie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call when the blunt, the blunt falls? Your bitch is getting boned? Yeah. You pass on the blunt, he's always dropping it. Like, oh, fool, come on, thing. Uh, <laughs> no, but you're right. I think I think you're right. If the homie take I, too long, I'm wrong. I, I take that back. Yeah, you got to be a real homie. Bat. Be there. Hey, broke up Monday. Let him sleep it off. Like, yeah, let him sleep it off. Let him. Let hey, him. Taco Tuesday, fool, you down or what? Let's exactly. Go. Taco Tuesday. That's right. Right off the bat, Taco Te- Tuesday. Tequila shots. They're going to be hood right there anyway. Like, hooders like tacos. Yeah, so. Taco Tuesday, I, I like, a, like, a, like a college town. It's always pop off. College nah, town, you, can't take, Tuesday, you can't take a 35 year old to a college town. You gotta take him to a, a Why local. Not? Yeah, you can. Fuck no. What is no? what is whack? 18 ass and gay? over. 18 and over, homie. He's gonna be like, hey, have you heard of Chronic 2001? And the bitch will be like, the Chronic? What the fuck is Chronic? <laughs> so, so where are you taking the Swanner Face Springs, Swami? <laughs> yeah, like you gotta go to Santa, Santa Face Springs bars. You gotta go to like iguanas and all that shit <laughs> over there. Like somewhere you know that the bitches that that are there are divorced too. Like, oh, yeah. okay, you're you, trying to make it easy for him. Yeah, you're not trying. Oh, to so they can kind of relate. They can kind of relate. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 we're you're, both here for bad choices tonight. Oh, I, I see what you're going with. Cause he's gonna be like, oh, I'm going through a divorce. She's like, oh, barely, baby. I've, I've been to two, so she knows how to take two care of the crazy. homie. You know, she already knows yeah, how to yeah. get take care of the homie. She's like, oh, okay. She, she's gonna try to prove him like. It's better that you're single now, and then she's all perra mode. Like, and okay. she's going to try to teach him that bitches ain't shit still. Be like, she was she, she, she was gonna shit. Remi- no, she's going to remind him that bitches ain't shit. No, because she's she, going to try to make lunch, and she's going to be like, only she shit. Nah, she's going to she's gonna get drunk fuck, and then try to fuck the, the next homie the next day. Like, oh, hey, well, well, I, we already had sex, but what's up with your homie XG? And then she's <laughs> homie hopping, like, and then your homie's like. Well, nothing worse than a homie hopper. If, if this homie is out here, XG, in the streets, and like, sorry, player. That's my bitch now, too. <laughs> But for real though, nothing worse than a homie hopper. Just the word alone, dog. Homie hopper. It sounds crazy, but okay, look. If you bone oh yeah, you're dating a girl. You bone her best friend, you bone her cousin, and you bone her home girl, that's props, right? You don't think they gave each other props? Like yeah. oh you fucked XG, oh and you fuck scumbags, and you dog. fuck and you fuck chili? Like that <laughs> Imagine? I eat out chili. Dog. No, no, not me. <laughs> but the girl says that. They're gonna be like Damn, oh, this is gonna fuck? be a good combo with la- with the last we don't smoke the same. <laughs> Go check out the last we don't smoke the same. It'll make this that joke a lot of fucking funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, but you know, imagine someone took the three of us down. She brag about it. She'll brag about She's it. She's like, "Well, I scum and kicked it, kicked hey, it." She'll be she'll, she'll be in, this, in her group today. Like, you think they'll put me on the podcast? I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> you bitch. I would I would be bragging about it. You think they'll put me? Oh, yeah, fuck. That's hilarious. Well, you know how there's, like, chuckle fuckers? Yeah. You know what that is, obviously, right? Yeah. yeah. And, like, groupies, hip-hop groupies yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit. You know, you think there's, like, podcast groupies that just want to bone, like, Theo Vaughn and Joe yeah. Rogan and Pep and then Patrick Bay Davis are just, like, watching podcasts every day and fingering themselves to podcasts? The, the girl I talked to, the, the, <laughs> the one from Scott... <laughs> Hope you're doing that right now, baby girl. Go put that shit on fucking high. <laughs> oh yeah, keep keep talking that nonsense. They're gonna be like, with the old one day. Keep talking about that raccoon. Keep talking about raccoon. <laughs> Every time he says alligator, this bitch nuts. <laughs> Every spontaneous story, like. Every story that makes no sense, oh, I'm coming. 
Hell yeah, they're, they're, they're most, we got to make a name for them. Yeah, we got to make a name for them. Because Chuckle Fucker is nothing better than Chuckle Fucker. When I heard that, I knew instantly. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, she's and a she, Chuckle Fucker. Damn, if you, if you go to a show, a comedy show with your girl and she chuckles, fuck her. She's gonna get. <laughs> well, you better hope no one fucks her, no? Because you're fucking her. You yeah, you better look. Keep an eye on the fucking headliner. Yeah, dude. Hey, that joke wasn't that funny. Yeah, you, nah, nah, you nah, nah, fucking nah. grab XG, her by the thigh like the, your girl does. Don't laugh too hard. Bitch. XG's not that funny. <laughs> XG's not that funny. Don't, no, no, no. Well, I no. bet you girls. I bet you guys have said that. I bet the girl. George, she's not that funny. Why you go to a comedy club and start laughing? <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of that though. So, all right, podcast. What, what do you want? What do you want to comment? Like we got, we got a brainstorm. Someone, in, someone in the comments, you gotta leave a comment. I mean, can't. I, has to rhyme like chuckle fucker. Chuckle okay, fucker chuckle doesn't fuck. even rhyme. It doesn't <laughs> even rhyme. I'm illiterate. I'm illiterate. But, I'm illiterate but it like, it's groupy. It's, it's, sound retarded with that one. Because groupy, it's, it's, there's groupy, chuckle fucker. What, what do you want to say? It was chuckle fucker. I, I don't even know how I try to rhyme that shit in my head. We are talking about a whole caster. Hocaster? Nah, it has to be something more slick. Dotcast. No. I don't know, dude. We got brainstorm for. I'm not good with this shit. I'm not a rapper. Can't drop two. I can't drop bars and fucking. Damn, we gotta think of something because no one has made up. No there, one exactly. We can, we, we can capitalize pod- on this. Thought we can get this shit on a fucking Urban Dictionary. I'm working on it. Cause look at Duno gets laid. He's a podcaster, and he gets, the bitches just look like, oh shit, his well, podcast. Po- oh, full, trust me. So then we got to throw something. out nobody names out there, but I work with a lot of podcasters. Fools get, fools get late. Shit, we're on episode 11. Holy fuck. We're on episode 11, I get late from this podcast. There you go. No, I don't. I just get late. <laughs> <laughs> podcast or no podcast, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> podcast, oh, damn. I want to actually think about something right now, but damn, I can't think about shit. Well, it'll come to us. Trust me, it'll come to us like we make them come. Don't worry. Oh shit! Oh, fuck. <laughs> so if you're a, po- a, a podcast groupie, DM us. What, what what you call yourself? Yeah, man. what do you call yourself? Because they they probably make up the name first. No, like, girl, you a groupie, and then that's how it became. Or like, oh, yeah. a, and they probably text their other little fucking podcast groupie whore friends. Oh, have you heard this one? I came so much to this episode. Hey, bitches do be listening to podcasts. I'm not like, like a lot of females listen Full. to the po- podcast. You know what was a great podcast that I don't even think you know about? Which Did one? you ever hear this podcast called Guys We Fucked? Bro, these bitches breaking the internet. When this podcast came, came out, it was when podcasts were new. Like, I don't need, I think I maybe was on, on with Sam Tripoli and I had just started uh, George Perez. We, we didn't even have video at the time with George Perez. This is how new this was. But they started a podcast. There was these two uh, New York comedians. I forget their names. It was two of them. Chicks? They, two chicks, yeah. And they called, their, they called the podcast Guys We Fucked. And they started the podcast were bringing guys that they fucked. And they would interview them about it. Pretty yeah. tight. And it was yeah, at that moment idea. in time, like it was like girl talk. You never heard girls talk about like, yeah, and I fucking blew this guy. No sé qué tanto, and blue, 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 and blah, blah, blah. When you kick it with a girl, I kick with a bunch of girls. Sadly, I have to hear all these stories all the time. How bad is it? Because you hang out with some real whores, some like some OnlyFans oh, chicks. Relax. Come on, dog. I hang out with bitches that have nine to fives. Like, does that? What do you think? I, I what the fuck? Actually, you think only have like porn stars around me all the time? I have normal bitches. Well, I, like, I've seen some of your videos, dog. But yeah, I, I don't have videos like that. Step your game up, <laughs> fool! You're, you make me sometimes. I'm like, fuck, my my, dude. my homie has Mary has more bitches than you. Come okay, on, chill, step chill, it up. <laughs> oh my bad, homie. I don't want to get yeah, you divorced. Divorced now. Ah, fuck it. Come to the club. <laughs> shout, shout out to you. <laughs> But now nah, I fully kick it with the chicks. You, t- you hear crazy uh, shit. Let, run me a story. Run me a crazy story like, pull girl, stop. Well, all like, I got to stop being your th- friend. They're smashing all your favorite podcasters. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Yeah? They're smashing them, dashing them. So I don't, don't want to burn nothing, but damn, you hear a lot of crazy shit. Like, you think they're nice and innocent. They're not, bro. They're fucking way more. They fuck more than me. But I thought, like, females fuck way more than me and you combined, probably. Like, like, we, we fuck fucking not celebrity chicks. These chicks are fucking, like, celebrities. Are, like, fools that are popping. It's like, damn. I thought I was doing that fucking his OnlyFans, I mean, bitch. man, you act like you wouldn't fuck a celebrity chick, dog. Yeah, well, that's You know how bad I want, like, Selena Gomez and, like, Ariana Grande. Well, okay, if you if you were to hit Selena Gomez for the first time. Well, she'd be looking thick on Instagram lately. Yeah, I haven't seen how she's looking. I haven't seen like, her, bro. Let me see this shit. Bro, it's unreal. All right, scumbags. We got another sponsor. We got Blue Moon Cannabis. They make pre-rolls. They sell apes. They got a bunch of stuff. Check them out. Here's some pre rolls that they make. Actually, they're Fire, really sm- dog. Fire. Actually, smoking already. We don't smoke the same. But they got seven infused pre rolls. That's the one that 
FG is smoking on. Little baby one right here. They got single ones. They got the big boy. And they got Aves. Check it out. It's bomb ass weed. Smoke with them. Shout out to Blue Moon. Look for them at your local dispensaries here in LA. And if not, ask for them. Ask, ask for Blue Moon. Ask your dispensary, Blue Moon, where the fuck is at. Yeah, and DM us. If you need it to, DM us. You can DM us and get it. So hit us up. What's up, you scumbags? Check out one of our sponsors, Chili. She makes these cool drawings. Apparently, this is me. <laughs> uh, I guess it's Dragon Ball. It'll be Dragon Ball deep in your bitch. <laughs> but this is not me, but check out her artwork. She has real cool work. We have this picture that she's selling, this other one. And right here, guys, whoever wanted to see the chick that I boned and got by the, my bloody Valentine, this is her. She's into anime. I think she's Asian. She's fine, though. Uh, you can catch these at chillymilly.shop for $60. Come support us. Come support our producer. Uh, like he said, that is scumbags. I don't care what he says. That's supposed to be him. Um, Buy a picture of me. Buy a picture of XG's Valentine date. Show support to Chili Milly. Get it. Nah, but we're I, talking celebrity status. This, we're talking Kim Kardashian, Ariana Grande, Selena Gomez, Rihanna. So, okay. Um, all right. So, you like all these chicks, I'm not pulling. I, I, <laughs> I'm not. I'm holding them tight, bro. Like jujitsu style. Like I'm gonna so choke what? these chicks out. Now you're gonna see chicks are not gonna wanna fuck you no more. Like okay, she's on the wild shit right now. Let's put on. Oh you, like you just stay in there. You hold on tight when you're nutting. Fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> damn. US, speaking of USA 300. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, dog. Like that. Speaking of I'm gonna get 300. part of the night. I'm trying to get part of the night, dog. You're trying to, you're trying I'm trying to get that three hundred thousand dollars, yeah. dog. <laughs> Three hundred k, three hundred thousand dollars, and get that chick pregnant. <laughs> yeah, that that was my goal as, when I was in high school. I was what? Want, I was gonna be K Fed. Remember K Fed? Oh, K Kevin Featherline. Fuck yeah, dog. You know, I I spoke with that for one. He's a time. real fuck boy. He's number one fuck yeah, boy. Yeah, that fool did it. When I saw him in high school, I was like, oh, he got Britney Spears. He got and, her and two babies. I was like, damn. He did and, nothing. And then one time I was at a studio with the homie smoking, and they were recording music, right? And then who comes out of, out of the curtains? K Fed, he's like, hey, you want to blaze it? And I'm like, oh hell yeah! I was gonna say, like, you're, right? you're my fucking idol. I wanted to tell him, you know, but I'm like, that's gonna be weird as fuck, you know. But like, because he's not someone that you were like. He's gonna be like, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> I didn't do shit, but get a fucking celebrity. But that was always my goal in high school. Like, okay, he did it. I gotta find. You know how back then you had a folder with pictures on it? I had K Fed on there with Britney, and I was like, kinda, I, I want to be that. Kind of sus. I know it's kind of sus. <laughs> But nah, because I, I wanted a celebrity. No, no, bed. no, but you said you had Britney there. I thought when you, I thought you first started with, I just had K. I no, was no. like, ah, dog. It was K. Fed and Britney. And, and Britney, because like, Britney's top notch, dog. Britney, like, dog, on the airplane video? I, I have no talents. I'm a high I'm a not graduate high school, so can my looks get me this far? That's what the goal was like. Can I get that? You know, it's not oh. like she was like just, she had Justin Timberlake first, and then she went to that. But she has, he has some talent, dog. He can dance. He was a back, he, yeah. Was it that, wasn't he a, a backstage but then dancer? He, he got with her and got fat as fuck. Oh, yeah, he didn't go fuck. He just, I would have the same shit. I would have, you know I would have been steak dinner every day. You know who else is like that? Who? That I kind of like, I was like, man, I wish I was him. Like, kind of low-key, but then he got fat. <laughs> oh, Rob Kardashian. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, see, I see? remember, like, dude, Rob Kardashian's the shit. He's nah, a Kardashian. But, nah, but he had He's got to go, and he was dating the girl from the Pussycats. She was fire, but then but, he cheated on her, and his whole life got depressed, and he became a fat fuck, and now he acts like he can't get pussy. He's a lame. He, he fucked up. He fucked he up. Had, Hella bitches wanted that. Food. Everybody wanted that. All food. And he cheated that. on fucking the girl from the pussy cats, which you shouldn't cheat on. That's top notch. Fuck pussy. it. You should have cheated on her and kept fucking other bitches, but you went on a little depressed one. The real little? Cause he said quería matar over a fucking pussy cat dolls chick. Well, that whole pussy, I swear he literally that got pussy fat. Does. That dude, that pussy must have been fire. Nah, he probably didn't get know that, bro. Cause I, he got I, I he got a bomb pussy, fire. and for that pussy to do that to him, what was that bitch doing nah, to that but fool? He seems emotional. You can't say he's a real man's man. He's not a player. Oh, no. He cheated. And he Maybe did. when he was drunk See, as See, when fuck. you cheat, you got to understand what it comes with the consequences. Yeah. You got to ha- understand that. When you cheat, you might lose your house. It, you it, might it, lose the, <laughs> the car. You might lose the dog. But, but he, didn't have the, he didn't have anything to lose back then. He, he, he was the prize, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, they weren't even married. And that fucking cheat on her. Who cares? Yeah. Good shit, player. But the uh, after effect, you fucked up by getting fat. You should have just stayed fucking skinny. I mean, we act like he still can't get laid, though. Any bitch still wants a car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we yeah. act like he needs to stay fit. I mean, like, he doesn't, dog. <laughs> nah, nah. He's, he's good. Yeah, he's... you know who else was like, I'm not going to lie, like, a little bit of my idol, and either you said we had piece of shit idols, because Kevin Fennelly was your idol. You know who was my piece of shit? Who? Celebrity idol? 
Scott Disick. I want to be Scott oh, Disick yeah. so bad, dog. This fool was a fucking G. He <laughs> told his, his girlfriend to go fuck off while doing blow, hearing, hitting the mirror. But see, but this they had living money. living alive, okay. dog. He had money. He but, was richer than them. He was like, yeah, yeah. I don't need y'all. Yeah. I'm fucking they loaded. Met, they met him in the neighborhood, huh? Yeah, he was part of the squad, <laughs> dog. He, that's why he couldn't <laughs> control Scott Disick. <laughs> he was probably walking his bitch-ass dog and then like... Oh, uh, y'all want a problem? <laughs> like, oh, shit. Because like, he was a man. Remember when he came out? He came out one episode like, uh, that. what's her name? Uh, Courtney. Courtney was in the jacuzzi with her homegirl, and he comes out with his dick. And yeah, he's like, bro. And they're like, what are you doing? Like, dude, Scott oh, Disick to like, me at one point was like, dude, he's the God, man. He's yeah, the man. the man, dog. The man around these hot, fine bitches. He, he didn't dress like the other. man, but then he became the man. Like, ep- season one, nah. he, was, he was like, oh. A dorky, rich, not dorky. Well, but like, I know it's not your style, but he had fresh outfits. Dog. I wouldn't dress like that. No, frat boy, frat boy, he yeah, had frat boy style. Like frat boy would have looked up to if him. If I could pull it off, I would do it. It's not my style. Well, we couldn't look up to him because he was a frat boy. To me, I could, like, I can't be Scott. But then after his savageness, like season three, I was like, oh, oh yeah, when they went to Miami, when the Kardashians went to Miami, the Kardashians went to Miami, I was like, oh, that fool turned Cuban. He <laughs> yeah, was Cuban. All coked out and shit. Scotty, Scott, Scott, Scott. When he turned to Scott. Ah, bro. Yeah, think about it. There's a lot legend. of like you. There's a lot of people I would have wanted to party with the Kardashians. I mean, the uh, the guy that that got a, a heart attack at the Bunny Ranch, uh, uh, Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom, yeah. Bro, that's a guy you want to party with, dog. He said, "Fuck this, fuck the Kardashian pussy. I'm gonna get some fucking Bunny Ranch pussy." Like, no, that, I, was, that was after the divorce. That was after I know, the but you got to think about it. You went from Kim Kardashian pussy to Bunny Ranch pussy? No, Chloe Like, Kardashian, how bad no. are you going through it, my boy? Like, oh, Dickie had it made, Chloe. Imagine you're dating Chloe. You're seeing the best things in life. Best, yeah, she's fired. You're too. going on trips and everything's catered pretty much. Everything is free, right? They're, not, they're rich and not wasting any money? You think they pay for these dinners? Oh, no, bro. Fuck no, right? They just show up, post my restaurant, free food. Everything is free. And then to go to the bunny ranch for a, you gotta pay for sex. Fuck that. I had a heart attack there, dog. Well, yeah, dick. It's fucking. Pay? If you're on when I'm fucking. That's why you, I can't do that. Can't do that, guys. Careful. Can't be. Fuck oh. responsibly, guys. Don't be going to the bunny ranch all on one and shit. Yeah, dog. But yeah, that was the, that was when I, I smoked with them. Out. That was crazy to see because I was stoned as fuck, chilling with the homies that I was kicking with every day, pretty much right there. And that food pops out. I'm like, damn. I I didn't want to say it, though. I shouldn't. Have, I good sure. thing I didn't say it, right? Dude, you know how like like how big scumbags would have been if you would have caught that fool right after the di- right after like the marriage the marriage wearing a scumbag shirt after the divorce like I'm a scumbag <laughs> that one, dude you'd be up there with fucking Virgil you'd be Dang. up there with assholes live forever nah but I met him after that I met him uh, when he was fat and he went back to skinny so I met him when he was skinny again I think he had which, a new bitch already. which which asshole scumbag would you like is your like top goal or like dude this fool is I want this fool like they, like when he's wearing that shirt you're like yeah that is like definition of a, like a scumbag Dang. Mike Tyson maybe is that up there because he's a little scumbag like he bit but someone's that, ear off dog but, like but in that era if he was wearing it in that era yeah but now it's like you could probably get it I, I know people that know Mike still Tyson. be tight though it'd still be tight to see Mike Tyson with the scumbag he, yeah like who now though is there someone you like Tiger Woods? Nah. He is a scumbag, dog. He's a major cheater, yeah, dog. This fool got caught with like, oh, no, dog. Real scumbag. I would be very, very proud if I saw fucking Tiger Woods at the golf course. And you know who had a scumbag shirt? A random one? Ooh. And, and I don't have the picture no more because it was in the MySpace days. Roddy Roddy Piper. There you go. He had one. See, he's one. He's one that he was I, that... working at a radio show and the homie gave him a shirt and he, and he, he wore it. Uh, but I don't have the pictures no more of that one, but. Damn. Like for me, one of them that, I would, that I'd be crazy. I would be so happy if I saw this. If I saw Kareel wearing a scumbag T-shirt, I'd be- hit you up and like, bro, goals. I, I don't know if you know who this is, but Kareel, yeah. bro, Kareel's a scumbag dog. Throw, back in the day, the real scumbag. The throw a party together back in New York years ago because it was gonna be me, Hunter Moore, and Kareel, and then my homie got arrested. Damn, so I don't know what's gonna, gonna happen because I don't know Kareel's was gonna happen, but that was the goal. It was well, gonna was be the- Hunter Moore. You don't remember Hunter Moore? The Is Anyone Up website? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that, that you 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 would put up uh, uh, nudes. Yeah, me and him did three collabs. You know that, that fool? Yeah, that fool's I a part, real I, scumbag. He made he was I, the guy that I made a, one of the shirts as a collab right here. That era was clean. The hundred more era that I had, dude. I was bro, you did live that. You yeah, I was too young to live that hundred more era. Do you, like, no, hun- well, I I didn't. When he did the website, he already shut it down. But he became a DJ, uh, uh, your kind of music DJ. We threw two parties together in New York. Me, yeah. it was me, Hunter Moore, and didn't he almost go to jail? 
He went to jail for two years. Yeah, he got. I, he there I was, was a lawsuit. Just, yeah, I, was I remember. Inter- I interviewed him. Some his first fucking time. mom went after him. Some mom went after him because he wouldn't take the pictures of his daughter naked up on his website. No, because it was some suppo- revenge porn the, shit. Supposedly it was that the the girl said that he hacked into her email and took her nudes. You know what, bro? She Hunter Moore. It. When I made a collab with Hunter Moore, hella bitches, dog. Nonstop DMs of, hey. I love your merch. If I buy merch, can I meet Hunter Moore? Hey, if we do a photo shoot, can I meet Hunter Moore? They thought it was part. He was part of the brand, but no, we may have just make collabs and we're cool. And dude, went to New York, all the white bitch like it was on a boat. Just go out to him, kissing him, going crazy like. And they be like, "Hey, Munir, scumbags, let's kick it after the party." But not with all these weird people, dog. I, I get bad anxiety. Like, let's kick it. You're cool as fuck. Let's kick it. So I will kick it with them after like normal shit, you know? Yeah. Because he would get all the bitches, dog. That fool was popping. Then he did get arrested, like. The, our third, we did Rave at C1, I wasn't there. Rave at C2, I was there. Rave at C3, I was there. And with him, and he got arrested. Then they had like a free Hunter one. But that shit was. Nah, he was. He was the man. Like, as no. much as I think it's cool, it's also not cool to have fucking revenge porn website, dog. Like, you won't imagine that was you. Imagine someone. Imagine I, some I thought chick, I was on there. Imagine right some then. chick fucking want to say, fuck I, scumbag. I, look at this fool's dick and I, post it. That's what it was. It could have been you. I don't know if uh, I'm like cool with it. It's fucking crazy. At the moment in time, you're like, whoa, he's a fucking piece of shit. But when you're on the other end of the stick, it's not cool. Well, I always thought back then. Like, Unless I'm, you got a big dick. Well, That's why I wouldn't, I, be, I, I, I wouldn't be that upset. I would be like, well, I wasn't going to be mad but at it. I've always like, said it. If my dick ever goes on the internet, I'm, doing, I'm making a porno. No, I said it. Hey, if you're gonna repo- if you're Fuck gonna repost that, already out there. you're gonna repost that dick pic. All that's gonna happen. I'm gonna get more bitches. That's it. Like, would you ever make a porno? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, with your face in it. I know you fucking. I oh, know no. you record. Nah, uh, nah, if I lose my beard belly, I'm down. You, you'd be down to record yourself. Hell yeah, but not with the big ass barriga. That I should, feel you. I feel have you. a big ass beard gut right now. That should be too weak. I feel you. But I'm down. If let's say Sky Bree hits me up, like, hey, you down to fuck and film? And she gives me a little cool check. I'm down. So if she hits you up. Hey, scumbags, on the real, all these fools are lame at boning me on the si- on scene. You want to do it? And you're like, and you're like, no, well, it's because no, no. I'm a little overweight. And you said, and she said, I'll give you two months. Oh, would, yeah. you, would you buckle up, dog, uh, yeah, and start no. running with these on on the bike rides no, and no more, no more of these guys, <laughs> no more pizza. <laughs> Shit, I'm running so right you now. Buckle, you'd buckle down like, like a weight. Like, I, you, like, like you'd hit up your box and be like, yo, dog. Uh, sign me Camp. up. Hey, let's spar. Let's spar. <laughs> let's spar. Let's spar. <laughs> I got. I gotta do a porn. I gotta uh, do a porn scene. Like, Hello. Uh, sorry, XG. I gotta go. Let's, uh, <laughs> run it on yourself. Fucking scumbag is so, here with his, I, me- I, I with his me- meal preps and shit right before the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, can we stop? I no, gotta I'll eat real quick. I'll just be doing hella coke now. I'll be doing hella coke, not eating. Like, hey, I'm back to my old ways, fool. <laughs> no, that one I went with her. She's so bomb. Hey, but you saw who she was with at the Laker game? No. But I, I, don't, cause I don't know who she was because she posted herself up with Diplo. You're stalking for, a little bit. A little stalker activity right here. I, well, like I follow it. her on Instagram. I don't think it's that hard to follow. I mean, to stalk. Oh, no. it's like story. Oh, I'm stalking. And then what? And okay, not only did you look, and not My only bad. did you look oh. at the story, I know you were like, double click the name. No, I saw that she was with Diplo. So why am I going to click Diplo? Oh. Like, I don't want to see this fool's fucking music. Yeah, Diplo's a shit, dog. So she, but Diplo's wait, scumbag. wait, let me finish the story. She posted herself with Diplo, right? And, her, and his kid, I guess. He has a kid? Yeah. So at the next game, but then what, somebody else from the behind the scenes, she was, you know who? J.O.P. Damn. He's hitting it. He was with her, bro, at the Laker game. And I thought it was with Diplo, but she just took a picture with Diplo, but she was there with. And J.O.P.'s getting chunky. Shit, bitches don't care about it. I tell you that. I know, about I don't. That's, that's what I'm saying. Is. Yeah, I don't. See, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go to EDC with you. I'm going to take my shirt so, off. See, you want to know? Okay, so I've, I put more thought on to this dad bot shit. You want to know the, only, the reason bitches love dad bot? Cause they know you eat good. Well, yeah, duh. They know you're rich. Not rich. No, okay, not it. rich. Okay, but. chill out. I, I a lot of dad bods out there that are broke as fuck. Chill the fuck out. Dad bod does not mean rich. Dad bod just mean I eat a lot. I have three meals a day. I don't fast. That, 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 stop with the oh, I, we, we ballers. No, you you dad bods out there, chill well, out. Okay, but you can't say okay if he has a if he has a belly. Ot J a oh, 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 Mexican ot maybe well, fucking rich baller. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he has a belly and a grill, and something's cooking in the grill. Exactly, so, dog. That girls that's know, not most. That's well, not more dad bods out there. The girls make the girls investigate. Like they know all the food's bottom. That's why he's fat. Like that food probably is too busy fucking. 
Yeah. That don't work out. I, the reason, because I thought about it, like, I, I saw J.O.P. and it's for, like, looking thicker. And I'm, and, and I'm like, the only reason like that is because it's for probably eating lobster every day, tomahawk nah, but every it, day. It does yayo, so I'm like, you, he's got, he got, he does the good yayo where you can eat. <laughs> 100%. Good yayo you can eat. Well, yayo, you either get skinny or fat. Like, well, you don't stay in the middle, you just either get fat, you get small. No, you get skinny when you're broke. When you're rich. Oh, no, you're, I'm wrong, because Scarface was pretty skinny in the movie, even though that's a <laughs> that's movie. That's a movie, dude. So I just said, even though that's a movie. Now look at Sugar Shane. He's rich as fuck. But he's a vegan, huh? Yeah, fuck vegans. Yeah, vegans are the worst. But no, he was with Sky Bree. But then, how is that? Oh, buy some music with a, a main porn star? Like, damn. That fool's doing it. But all the bitches that want J.O.P., I think. Because all, all my homegirls are like, oh, J.O.P., J.O.P., like. And he's out of shape. Uh, he's know, out of shape. So that fool pumps me up to stay out of shape. I hope more J.O.P. No, he's Mexican. Bitch, yeah. you want Mexican. J.O.P., cool keep on that. doing your thing, and yeah. we're going to get your body, too. And we're going to get bitches. Not me. <laughs> oh, EDC, dog. So he's not going to get no bitches. <laughs> this year, you can see a six-pack at the fucking EDC vlogs this year, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck these dad bot ass motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking Mexican yeah. OT-looking ass fools. Hey, would you get mad if we went to... <laughs> <laughs> three plates, Tommy, looking ass full. <laughs> hey, three plates or no plates? Three the, plates the, or no plates? The bitch wants plates, like oh, he bitches with... want plates. That's what I mean. When she, they hear three plates, I'm on. Yeah. Oh, three plates. Two main dishes that one app- Two main dishes one appetizer. No, <laughs> with me there's no plates. <laughs> the plate with cocaine on it. Let's it's go. A, it's a plate in the microwave. It's a plate in the microwave. <laughs> There might be leftovers if you're lucky. <laughs> I might give you the dust on it on the on the sides. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so that that's it. Summer's coming up, boys. Stay fat. Yeah, well, hop drink up. drink beers, eat pizza, eat donuts <laughs> at work. The bolillo before the holly, fuck it, bolillo and butter. It's just fuck it. Get that dad bought. Six packs are not in, guys. Oh, well, you're that fool that loves do- do- doble tortilla, huh? What do you mean? That fool that loves all, all, all the tacos tortilla. come with doble tortilla. Nah, no? bro, one tortilla. Stupid, you, cannot sti- you cannot stick them. The whole I, taco tell, I tell the lady, uh, una tortilla, por favor. The fuck you want double tortilla for, dog? You tell them, you make them and do their hard carbs. Weak ass food, no? Weak ass food. No, double tortilla. The, the strength comes from the protein, not from the fucking fat carbs, <laughs> dog. Weak ass food. Who? I've never, I'm not gonna go to a dog. I'm not going with you to a lonchera for that. Ay, pero no le pongan doble tortilla porque soy sensitivo. Like, oh, what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> and then so, when she says, why not doble tortilla, I lift my shirt up, and she sees the six-pack, and she's like, I feel you. So she's like, este güey todavía está gordo. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, one tortilla is crazy. I can't, go to, King tortilla, Tom. I can't go to King Tom, but hey, uh, don't put double tortilla. Oh, I don't even care. I don't know how to charge me the same. One tortilla, bitch, please. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about the price. The it's hard to unstick them when they bring to them. Like, the only thing that sucks is, like, if you don't eat the taco quick, it gets soggy. Yeah, yeah. Double tortilla, it's to, it's for stability, you know, for like. Why don't you just get it with the tortilla? Like, hey, just give me a chicken bowl or a carne asada bowl. Because I'm Mexican, I still want the taco, <laughs> dog. Like, the fuck, dog? It can't be disrespectful now. Now, now, now you're crossing the line, homie. Like, oh, team tortilla. You're crossing the line, Now man. you're going to tell me to leave, dog. I just said one tortilla, like, I'm, you know, trying to stay fit. Nah, you know, you're over here making diabetes. her cook, cook one I don't tortilla. need to take, like, obs- like, what is it, OPSEC or whatever? What is what fat bitch is taking lately? That shot. Ozempic, yeah, dog. I don't want. Double tortilla means Ozempic in a couple years. The fa- I don't. I don't. I don't talk to fat chick like that. What the fuck? They inject themselves. Well, there's this thing called Ozempic. What does that do? The homie, shout out to predict. That fool sells these for a thousand bucks. It's this injection, and he's got diabetes. It's supposed to be for diabetes, but fat bitches that don't got diabetes. I guess I'm skinnier, no? It l- makes you lose your appetite. Well, the diabetes pills are out of stock because pe- people are buying them, no? Yeah. So Damn. that's what I'm saying. Double tortilla means. I was like, eventually, don't do it. You don't need it, bro. Just like, and then you add tortilla, and nah, then you add frijoles, and you add, and then you add frijoles, and then you add fucking rice to that. You're just going to be not fat. Not, not, not a taco. Then just get a fucking burrito. What the fuck? You're going to put beans and rice in your taco. No, on the uh, side. They get it on the side. They get it on the side, fool. I know fat people. Fat I know fat nah, people. I, just fool. I, I know taco. the owner of High and Hungry, fool. I know how these fools oh. eat. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Ethan. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> He's Do on. not send this to Ezone. Do not piss him off. I'm on good terms with the homie. He's on one Pro tortilla. pen or no pen. Don't forget. Pro pen or no, no pen. pen. Catalyst. Go get that shit at Catalyst. <laughs> one, one tortilla, no tortillas. <laughs> Shout out Ezone. Shout out Ezone, dog. Shout out to the homie for real, though. Just fucking around. <laughs> no, he's never going to invite me on, fuck. We don't smoke the same again. Oh, we had a good time. What are you talking about? I, I was there yesterday. Finally, I was invited. 
When he was not the the T zone. Well, he was fucking hippie zone. <laughs> Fools was all fucking LSD acid out, dog. <laughs> Went from Tio's on a hippie zone. <laughs> well, like a typical Tio, you don't know which one you're going to get. You don't. Dog. You just go to the house. Now zone sometimes. You go watch the fight, and you don't know which one you're getting. Like, aggressive Tio, wild Tio. No, nah, but this was happy Tio. Remember, at, at, at the end, he was he was, he was was crying how, how much we were making him laugh. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> hey, listen to his come and kick it, fool. You'll laugh a little bit, dummy. <laughs> No, it was a good time over there. That fool was, was crying, though, huh? That well, that fool was crying because I remember what he said. He did. It was a scumbag shit he did. He talked about going to the club and being bien bello, being drunk. And you, we've all been there when you're drunk, and you're like, man, fuck this club. Fuck this establishment. Fuck this <laughs> bar. And you're supposed to piss in the toilet, and you piss on the trash can. <laughs> yeah. I, I, guess he's on did that, I guess he's on did that all night. <laughs> I guess he got there. He, and he like, did it at the studio? No, <laughs> no at some <laughs> car. Whatever, wherever establishment he was at, I guess he started pissing in the trash can. And I guess by the end of the night, the trash can was halfway <laughs> full yeah. of this fool's piss. <laughs> I, I, I always do that. You come back later on Bro, during the time. You and can't like, do that. You want to know why you can't do that? Because Rasa usually picks okay, that up. You're, you're saying that? I thought about it. I'm Paisa. My dad could have been my mom. Could have been my dad. You told me that yesterday. I thought about it. But I've been at bars where the homies work. You know who cleaned it up? My Mexican homie that's not a fuck it that you think that is. The same homie that's like me and you. He's Latino too. But guess what? It's still Rasa, dog. It's still your fucking... Well, it's a homie. When a white guy does it, I laugh. And I don't hate white people, but I'm just like, ah, it's nah, if, a, if, it's a by, if it's a white bartender, you know whose job it is to go clean it up? That fool. They don't even for like, leave it tomorrow for a fucking Maria. Either way, you shouldn't be fucking taking a piss in the trash can when there's a toilet right there. Hey, man, I missed. <laughs> the whole time? <laughs> I, I had better aim. That hole was bigger. I don't know. I don't know, but he's going to do some scummy ass shit, dog. He's going to do some scummy ass shit sometimes. Hopefully he can come and kick it. Just come and kick it over <laughs> Listen, here. No, no, I think he's back to normal, so I think he's going to come and kick it now, huh? Yeah. Well, hopefully he's on LSD. We got to <laughs> get him on LSD. Dude, he's been microdosing. You ever L- you ever take LSD, microdose LSD? No. No? It's kind of fun. Yeah, I might yeah. try it. A little microdose, a little spray. He's got these little sprays. It's kind of cool because it's like... You can control it. He already spray, told me he's gonna sprays. overdo it. He's gonna overdo it already. He's gonna spray like cologne. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told him. First thing I told him I was like, "Yo, I need to chill, dog." It's the way siempre se pasa de verga always. Because he was on a happy one yesterday. Like, oh, I want to be. I, wanna, I know. I haven't been that happy in a long time. Hey, give me some want, of that shit. Yeah, halfway through it, just because I had a drive, I didn't. But I was like, like, like some ex says, spray it like cologne. I saw, I saw that for reaching from the other side of the tent. Like, I want to hug guys. <laughs> and hey, like, you know what I'm gonna tell him to do next time? Spray and then I'm gonna walk into it. <laughs> Don't tell him that. He's gonna fucking. Hey, you guys want a podcast today? Come at seven. But by the time we get there, he's gonna spray the whole room. The whole room. And we're gonna walk in. And we're gonna walk in like, oh shit. The fuck is gonna. We don't smoke the same. We don't fucking LSD the same. You see fucking Ray floating right there? Like, even Ray's fucked up. Like, damn, dog. For fuck the fucking Pokemon and the Pikachus and the, and the Simpsons <laughs> behind us start moving and shit. Did we see they fucking Rock, Rock doing beats on the table, not even the machine. He's just like. <laughs> like a tweaker. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, now we give him ideas. Fucking he's on. Fuck no. Now we're going to spray the shit. <laughs> piss on a trash can. Punch some bread. I can't even invite him here because in my snack drawer I have bread. I'm going to come back from the bathroom. My hot dog bread is going to be all punched in. My hot Cheetos are going to be all crunched up. Like, you're gonna, <laughs> like fuck that shit, dog. <laughs> Went to get security. Oh, fuck. You got to get security when he still comes to your bed. He's going to be like, why is my bread all socked up? Why is my fucking trash can in the bathroom for the fucking water? What is that pit? There's a leak in here? Fucking A zone, dog. Uh, dog. That shit was a good time, though, fool. It's always a good time over there. We don't smoke the same. Dog. I told, and I knew it, too, when I told him. I was like, scumbag's going to come. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be funny. And I was late because I had to take a shit, and I was taking a shit when I was texting. Like, I find myself I'm like, fucking liar. Yeah. I liar had, ass fool. And then I had some fucking. I'm out there waiting. <laughs> Said five minutes. I'm already wearing. I'm like, where you at? They start late <laughs> he anyways. Blames, he blames it. It's some, some racist shit, too. What did he say? Some Chino's driving. It was an Asian fool. You know, he was. <laughs> That's what he said. Bro. I looked at the guy. Wasn't Asian, dude. Wasn't Asian. He was he didn't, Asian. He didn't the didn't fuck think is... I was going to be outside waiting. The fool was not Asian. Bro, the map said some weird ass language. <laughs> he would push the gas and then let it go in the middle of the block. Like, uh, no, sir, you got to keep your foot on the gas. Like, he'll push the gas and a ver como va. And like, think that should start going at 20, 15, 10. And then, oh, we pass another light that's green. Hit the gas again. Like, bro, we're never going to get there. I'm like, it's safe. We're going to make it, dog. 
But anyway, speaking of pissing in the trash, and I gotta take a fucking piss. Here's some fucking a word from our sponsors. What's up? What's up? We're back. It's been a little bit of a long episode, but we owe you guys one, dog. We skipped an ep- a week. You, I'm sure, sure you guys were ready there, ready for the super chats, ready to go. But uh, here's everybody's favorite segment. It's uh, scumbags Twitter slash X, whatever you guys want to call it. But go to at scumbags underscore LA. And this is a tweet, dog. I, I I don't know when you posted this exactly, but like I said, I go through your Twitter sometimes. Like, what the fuck was going on through this fool's head? Why did this happen? Was he at the studio? Was he at his house? <laughs> like, I don't know. But this is the tweet. I hate when I'm fucking her and mid-sex, she remembers that she has a boyfriend. Comma. So now we have to stop because she feels guilty. You never had that? <laughs> nah, like, really, like, when no. She, when she's sucking your dick, you. it's like, I can't, I can't no more. I can't no more. I feel bad. And like, what would happen? Like, my boyfriend. I'm like, bitch, you have a boyfriend? And then she, has, she wants to stop. Like, what is he going to, is he still going to be mad that you suck my dick only halfway? You're right. She should just keep on sucking. At that point, you just, just, just finish the deed. But and then they, you gotta try to convince them like, nah, it's all good, it's all good. I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna tell that for you know. But then they start feeling guilty. Like, oh, like what I do you say? What do you tell them? Like, no, he's not gonna find out. Like, don't trip. I'm not gonna nut in you. Whoa. Like, like what? Like what? I don't know. Or like what? Like because that, that that's a moment where like you know shit's gonna go from mid like mid boner. It's too you way. gotta it's save it. You got you gotta <laughs> save it, dog. So like, what do you say? Where she goes? She, well, she puts right, her well, like she's blowing you. She puts her little head up. Little head up, and she's like, I feel guilty. No, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. What the fuck is your next answer? <laughs> no. back, like, what do you tell this she's chick? Like, no, all, like, with her fucking. No, me estoy portando bien. No, me estoy portando bien. Yeah, like, she's all guilty. You're hard. She's kind of wet. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. All right, what, what would you. Uh, I'll tell you, my, my answer is pretty short. What would you tell her? Let's see what next you're going to I've say never like, been here, so I'm like, now I'm like, <laughs> I really haven't. I'm never, like, not me. Well, like, she hasn't, apparently she hasn't either. No, the next like, day, I, the next day, I've been like, oh, my God, I can't believe we did that. Like, dude, that was her friend. I've been there, dog, like, but not mid-bone. Like, I'm being serious. That would be major, like, like, we went from fucking midnight to 6 o'clock real quick, dog. But like, what, what happened is she's saying, like, I can't believe I have a boyfriend. That's what you're supposed to say, like, man, fuck your lame-ass boyfriend. Oh. Suck that dick. And she's like, oh, yeah, you're, oh, yeah, you're right, huh? Yeah, fuck oh, you gotta that Oh, you got to remind it. You got to remind that bitch that, that was a lame. Asking, this is why right? you started cheating on him. Yeah, that's why she's asking. He was so asking. great, you wouldn't have cheated on him. Like, you see, if that yeah, shit was so... He ain't oh, shit, girl. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I bet you ain't sucking his dick like this. And then oh, like, oh, or you know what else you could say? Oh, I bet you he's boning some bitch. And at that no, point, a, you're a snitch. at that, that point, you're, you're, oh, a no. snitch. you're a snitch. Don't be saying that. No, you're, I, I don't know. No, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just like, that's pillow talking. You gotta say like. You just got to remind, like, oh, yeah, some shit. But you can't say, like, oh, he's probably cheating on you. You're burning the food. <laughs> well, you, it, the, the spot's already burnt out. We're all burnt out homies, dog. Everybody here is burnt out. Nah, you got to well, you, you gotta say that. You're like, don't worry. He ain't gonna, how is he going to find out? Let's film it, though. <laughs> and then, like, put on don't your private. Trip, I got copyrights. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's not going to search your phone. You, you know he's going to search the phone. So, like, make sure it's not on private. It's, it's easy to find. Like, oh, shit. Me and my boo album. Uh, put your dick so you really didn't know she had a boyfriend when you posted this? I like had, she hit you with the I have a boyfriend mate, like like yeah, mid? she thought she had, I can't I can't I can't I can't be doing this no more. I can't be doing this no more. Like, what, what position are you? Boning or blowjob for real? Like, blowjob. She's sucking okay. the dick and going hard on it, and then she's like, I can't do this no more. I have a boyfriend. I feel guilty. It's like, cause you know where I can uh, picture that more. Like I see. I, I'm not saying that didn't happen, but I can picture her like on top of you going hard, and then she slows down. And she's like, I can't do this anymore. No, that been and you're like, wait a wait a what? That would have been sexy. I'm like, you can't do what anymore? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this? This? Because that's how I would picture her oh. because she's in her head thinking. She's like, she's on top. She's got too much to, too, too much time to think of. She's writing you. You're not but, giving it to but her. But then you got so to flip it. she's thinking about shit in her head, dog. It's really girl math. Girl fucking nah. math, dog. Like, oh, my God. Like, why am I on top of this fool? Like, I shouldn't be on top of anybody. You like, know what you're doing in that I situation? I last shot. Like, why am I here? Oh, my God. I got to go to work tomorrow. Like, oh, dude, rent, rent's due. <laughs> but, like, these bitches think about random ass <laughs> shit, dog. Well, like, when she's writing. Okay, look. All right, you said she's writing. You write that she starts going slower. She's all like. I can't do this. I, ha- I feel guilty. I have a man like, oh, so you feel like a bad little bitch? <laughs> you turn her over. No, you start spanking her. Okay, yeah, you would, like, I would turn oh, her over. You have, like, yeah. You've been a bad little bitch. Oh, you've been a bad Sigle. little bitch. Start, start spanking her. She's like, she like, oh, I have, huh? I'm like, yeah, you've been. You've been a bad little bitch. 
<laughs> is that, that what they want to hear, right? <laughs> they don't want to hear like, oh, you're right. Get off my dick. Yeah, you got you to gotta keep it going. You're right. You're right. You're yeah, right. You, yeah, you, you, are, you, you gotta, are. Oh, you're cheating. Damn. Psychology. You, you, gotta, unfa- you, gotta you unfaithful little slut. Yeah. Oh, you're a little slut. And then they like that shit. So they like, fucking choke them out a little bit. You're already cheating. That's right. You're right. Yeah, yeah get, they already knew what they were getting into before they got into the dick. Yeah. Like you, you, I wouldn't do this, but you could be like, if you stop, I am gonna tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, already, you already got her. You already got her phone. And like, you sure? I'll let them know this shit was it's, horrible. It's ringing. It's ringing. <laughs> Damn, super, super rat ass XG. I'm just <laughs> saying, dog. If she's so scared of him finding out, I'll make sure he finds out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fool, guess who I'm with right now? Your bitch. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't even left my apartment yet. She was all crying. Oh, I feel guilty. Yeah, look at her leave. Damn. So that, see, they, they just say that just to get turned on more, huh? They don't say it because they feel guilty. Oh, yeah. She knows what she's doing. A bitch knows, like, a guy knows when he's cheating. Yeah, because she really wanted to finish. She, she'd give you the best blowjob of her life. We're like, all right, you know it, yeah, my boy. Because she has to make it worth it. She's going to get broken up with. I thought she wants to go to, get broken up to a halfway blowjob or a ha- halfway fucking, like, Nah, see, you guys gotta be careful with these chicks, dog. That's the worst. Imagine, like, married, and you decide to cheat on your husband, and this guy doesn't even make you come, and you cheat on your husband. What's up? I'm gonna suck. You must be like, damn, that wasn't even worth it. Because we all, (laughs) guys always not. Guys always come, so you can't be like, oh, I didn't come. But females don't. I can't imagine cheating on your husband. (laughs) With some whack ass sex. Yeah. Or he was all like, coked out. Like, every guy nuts, dog. Like, I've never not nutted. Like, there's been horrible sex, but I still nut. I got, I, I got mine. I got mine. Like, <laughs> I, I, get, I always got mine. Like, I can't imagine cheating on your husband. You, you got to say, I got mine, and you got yours at home. <laughs> <laughs> go get yours at home. Go, go, go. My bad. <laughs> Bro, that must be the worst. Oh, the worst. She must be like, damn, why did I come and risk it all for this? Yeah. I risked it all for this minute? Yes. One, one minute of shame is going to haunt her for the rest of her life. I'm like, one minute ruined my whole marriage. <laughs> That's what I mean, bro. Girl, 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 women have more to lose with dudes. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna get, if a guy cheats, it's not going to be one minute sex with a girl's going to fuck, you know? Like, yeah. She's fucking for like 15 minutes. And if you come fast, that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, if she, that's how good the pussy was. I came fast. Like, or that's how horny he was. Like, yeah, <laughs> either way, it's a win-win. Man. <laughs> Speaking speaking of some bomb pussy, on, or like on, ima- like even so on the topic, like imagine you decide to cheat on your husband and like you don't know like like when we cheat on females, like oh you can be like oh that girl got a fat ass. Fuck hey, yeah. wait, when wait. I bone her, when I bone her, I'm I'm be hitting a fat ass. Or when I bone her, she's gonna be big old milky titties. <laughs> For imagine you, this one's got a smaller chili than your husband. <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> well, what they get mad at? Exactly. Girls get mad at that so shit. I'd be so mad if I was a female yeah. and I decided to cheat on my husband. But, and I'm like I'm gonna get a black guy. To know, you know. It's both smaller than my <laughs> husband, and I'm there like, what the fuck? I don't even like black dudes. <laughs> what? what? You never cheated on your girl, one of your girls, and like, oh, she has nice titties. Then you cheat on she has the, the saggy ass titties. All the ones that like, hey, like they don't uh, even like each other. My girl better not find out about this one, because <laughs> if she finds out, I'm going to get slapped. Not even for the cheating, just for the disrespect that <laughs> I gave her. Exactly. Like, and he's like, oh, I cheated with these fucking nasty ass areolas. Like, oh, man. my. And she knows her friends are areolas, too. She's like, those aren't even good tits, dude. <laughs> Uh, uh, we have the same problem too. So girls have, they get a small dick, and those guys are like, ah, oh, she didn't look like the, like how I thought it was gonna look like. You're like, ah, oh, this is whack. That's fucking funny. <laughs> I felt some of those. I remember cheating a while ago, well, not a couple years ago, and then uh, I actually felt guilty, like damn, because my bitch was bomb, and I cheated on her with some whack ass bitch. I was like, ah, oh, man, I gotta stop drinking so much. <laughs> yeah, they hate that shit. <laughs> yeah, I hate it too. <laughs> fuck <laughs> shit. For all the time that che- for the time that I risked it anyway, like damn, they hate that shit when it's not better than they are, and they never think it's better than they are. I'm not one cheated, and the girl said, "Good shit." But <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> once did she say, "Told my dog." That, that, if I was you, I would have. Not once, dog. They never gave you props after. And sometimes I think she should have gave me props. I was ah. like, "Girl, look, like, like, look. You seen that ass? I can yeah. fucking nick off that shit." <laughs> Oh, but you got that no props for the cheating like that. No, you, but she was way harder than her. Like, I should have got props. Like, if she would have hooked up with, like, like Oscar the lawyer, I'd be like. Yeah? Yeah, sometimes you got to give it up to him, bro. Nah, I wouldn't talk to him no more. She cheated on me. That's it. You could give me props. But I'm not going to give her props. You, know, you would be like, ah, I, I feel you. Hell. Bro, it's some, it, it, if you're dating some chick and they left you for, like, 
MMA fighter this weekend, you wouldn't be like, eh, like, it's all, like I'll no. be like, your face better not hit this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I can see why you left. Like, eh, nah, I'm not talking to no. She better not cheat on me. If she cheats on me, it's over. I'm not taking. Oh, it it's over. I'm not saying it's on. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying. You I'm can't give her props. I'm just saying if she said if 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 me and her break up, and next thing you know, I see her dating some MMA fighter and pulls like fight of the night, and she gets on, she gets in the ring. I'm like, dog. Oh. Remember when I was hitting that? I'm oh yeah, all yeah. The homies. I'm oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, did that, you see that, dog? You could brag about it. Like, that's I, what I mean. I'm but you like, can't tell her that. You can't. You can't tell her like, I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, not no. gonna text her. I'm not gonna fucking send her a but, letter. No. Be like, hey, si- <laughs> hey, dear so and so, you upgraded sincerely. I'm not gonna oh. <laughs> you gonna be looking at the- I didn't mean it like that. I would just be like, yo, like, what? like fuck, dude. She fucking. No, 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 but he's looking out the window. He's looking out the window, right? Writing-, <laughs> writing a letter, <laughs> dear so and so. I met you at this festival. <laughs> <laughs> the moon is shining. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But now, nah, let's, let's speak about some bomb booty. I just recently got one, some one chick to wear my brand. We should put it right I'm here. I'm surprised. It's not, it's not your typical chick. She's fire. She's no, no, thick. she's fire. Big old titties. Big old titties. Big she's, not your, your, she's not your style. When, you, when I saw her on Twitter, I was like, fuck. Nah, she, bro, what do you mean my style? I, I like all kind of women. That one's bomb. I've been crushing on her for a minute. Have you? Yeah. She's wearing this nice little skirt, scumbag skirt. Remember I told you like uh, two weeks ago or three? I don't know. I told you I, I sent some little dress to some bomb ass thick little chick, and man, she wore it. And did she wear it? We should. We'll put the video right here. Right give it like five. Hold on. Let's give it like six seconds to enjoy the booty. Can we well, get a mo- moment of silence? Moment of silence for the booty. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that. Cause fo- follow her on Twitter. What is her Twitter? Oh, fuck. I just had it, too. I was ready for it. Uh, it is uh, Taste of Star. Damn, you already found her? Ooh, I have it. I, I have it. I have it. I said, yo, are you, are you friends with scumbags? <laughs> say, say, what, what? That was quick. Damn, nipple, no hesitation. <laughs> I memorized her. I sound like Will right now. <laughs> I know, like, she already has packages delivered to her house, Amazon packages. Fully like, toxic. Next thing you know, she's going to be twerking in fully toxic gear. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> what, was her, what was her Twitter again? Uh, or her Instagram. Uh, Taste of Star 2Rs X2. You fools will find her. She's yeah. a thick little mommy. She got a little butterfly on her booty. Yeah, po- you yeah. Is, is, like when they have tattoos around there, that's where I try to like. That's where I want to put my masterpiece on. Yeah, like Michael, Michelangelo. No. No, gotta enjoy the art. Go type of shit. Yeah, and so we'll you gotta you gotta get the paintbrush. And Dude, some, yeah, sometimes when a lot comes out, I'm like, that's the Sistine Chapel right there. It's a sticky <laughs> situation. You gotta put all that. Well, <laughs> yeah, fo- follow her. Look at. I think she she posted it up right. Yeah. No. It's all over. It's right there. Yeah, she has it on her uh, reels. Check her out. Trust me, you fools would gonna love this shit. Go check her out, bro. She has fat, and she's I think she's like five feet. Shorty. So for shorty and thick. God damn. But yeah, we're gonna see some more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm still. Yeah, I'm, uh, she got only fans, so yeah. Y'all. on her Twitter, she does post videos sometimes, doing her thing, you know. So go enjoy it, cause she does take them down. Cause I'm there looking like, damn. She, she's yeah. wild with it. DJ Will, hit her up. DJ Will's probably already on it. Like, <laughs> DJ Will will tell you what color her butthole is. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Will, be, he's going to screenshot me like, I saw you like this picture too. I'm like, oh, Will. You can't even let me jack off in peace, fool. Shout like, out to DJ Will, dog. I'm right, here, I'm right here enjoying the picture, and then DJ Will like, you're jerking off to her too? And I'm like, oh, man, Will, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Uh, boy, that's number one scumbag, no, dog. No, I'm not going to lie, dog. No, He's I up there for Mount Rushmore. No, that's not number one scumbag because he buying the bitch's shit. Will, stop buying the bitch's shit, dog. Come on, man. Just get the pussy. Just get the pussy, Will. He well, gets the pussy, though. It's okay. Yeah, but he has to invest too much. Don't invest too much, Will. Come on, dog. Put more Will into it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Will, we're going to be willing to give you guys another episode next week. We liked it this week, but... This one's pretty long, so I hope they enjoyed this one. It's good, dog. We got a new sponsor. At least that's what's on the table. Yeah, we got these Blue Moon. We got these Blue Moon fucking. These are the little pre rolls. There are seven little pre rolls in here. But you'll see it more in the commercial. We'll, we'll talk more about it. But we'll see you guys uh, next week.